was the night before Christmas, and in the back of the room, there were four fanboys sitting in the dark room. Oh, God. <laughs> Welcome to the Lightning Podcast. <laughs> I'm one of your hosts, AC, Ghost of Christmas Past, and I'm joined by... <laughs> Mike, the Ghost of Christmas Present. Because you're the only tall guy with a beard. <laughs> Damn straight. <laughs> and Damien, the Ghost of Christmas Future. Because you've killed two celebrities and you're from a galaxy far, far away. <laughs> so far, still got eight more days. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, last but not least, our own... Bah humbug! <laughs> That's... <laughs> LG, LG LG Scrooge. <laughs> I hate Christmas. <laughs> LG Ezer <Ezer-Squeer>. Scrooge. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I like it. Now back to work, Cratchit. <laughs> You're old and decrepit. Yeah. <laughs> I win. <laughs> uh, good thing they don't know what we really look like. Those are listening. And that gag was supplied by helium, the only drug that we had in the seventies. Yeah, <laughs> not the only, the easiest. <laughs> the, the easiest. <laughs> okay. And now celebrity impersonations on helium. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you want, you, you've already painted yourself in this corner. Oh, yes, I have. Uh, Let's see. Um, there's Sean Connery. <laughs> Hello, Best Monday, my dear. I'd like to see what you've got out of that frock. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> I heard that! <laughs> <laughs> By request from Darth Damien, Carol Channing. Diamonds are a good <laughs> best friend. <laughs> Holy yeah. crap! Holy crap, yeah, that's a so fun crap. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> just, <laughs> just in case you're curious, uh, <laughs> Matt had picked up a helium tank and left it with us. One of the Bad worst. Idea. <laughs> One of the worst things he can do in the store. <laughs> and Ace is going to be uh, dying from a coughing fit because we keep telling him to drink more water. <clears throat> no, he takes shots of helium. Yes, and so all I know is he is pretty thing. <laughs> uh, Welcome to our holiday special. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody! As our great guest, the <coughs> ghost of Christmas past is uh, graciously introduced us with. We're, <laughs> d- this, we're going to be mainly focused on free discussion, but we do have one heck of a comic to review from <laughs> our ghost over here. <coughs> what was that? I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me just come over here, dear, turn on my pacemaker way up and way down for a cheap throw. <laughs> <laughs> well, the one that I did Hold on, read, hold on, hold on. But, Grandpa, please tell us a story. <laughs> well, way back when I, you know, we had gave out dirt as a toy. Back when dirt was money. <laughs> Let's see if you had dirt and a stick. You, you were set. set. <laughs> now the high-end kids, they had dirt stick and a water. Wow. So they went into business for themselves with mud pies. <laughs> <laughs> we had dirt and we were damn proud of it. But anyway, I'm the inventors of stick. <laughs> it's stick. It's stick. You can throw it at. It it's log, off a brick. It's stick. Log, <laughs> it's big. It's heavy. It's wood. It's log. log, 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 log it's better than bad. It's good. good. Uh, <laughs> nice bum <bunker. laughs> This show is brought to you by sand. It's everywhere. <laughs> Get used to it. <laughs> Boy, we're really doing a lot of sponsorships, huh? Yeah. No, we're not. <laughs> or Forget endorsements. <laughs> <coughs> anyway, the one book that I did read <coughs> is fitting in with the theme. It's A Very Zombie Christmas, number four. Because <laughs> everybody loves Christmas. I hardly read number one. Everybody two, three. <laughs> loves zombies. So why not put them together? So the main story was. Um, they had a couple of small stories, and it was mostly pinups, and they had a preview of another comic book in there. But uh, the first story was Black Friday at the mall. Oh, God. <clears throat> and you have a pair of brothers uh, going through the mall after the day after Thanksgiving, and because and, they're looking for a dress from Ma, so she looked purdy. And <laughs> these brothers are named Billy Jack and Michael Francis, or as they <laughs> refer to themselves in the book... BJ and MF. <laughs> Can you not? It's in print. So the zombies uh, attack the day after Thanksgiving, so they're stuck in the mall. You know, t- typical Day of the Dead kind of thing, or Dawn of the Dead, where everybody's stuck in the mall and they're I think shooting. Day the- was in the mall. What am I, Don? Don was in the mall. Was in the mall. <laughs> day was. I apologize. When- Ew. <laughs> <laughs> they let come and you want to go. Like what? <laughs> but there's zombies out there. <laughs> 
I throw you in front of them first. Talk about funny Jamaicans and zombie apocalypse. So they're, they're, they're just trying to blast their way out. And uh, his younger brother, BJ, was getting all freaked out. And MF decided to put, point a gun in his mouth. Go ahead and scream, and I'll turn you one of those zombies. If you come back, I'll shoot you again. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so he's like, you know, his, his big plan was to wait for Santa, Santa Claus. <laughs> he's a zombie already, isn't he? No, cause it's like the, the big plan was to wait for Santa because God bless him, that big dumb jock still believes in Santa. <laughs> it, yep, it, uh, it all t is in the redneck, and uh, MF was counting down the bulls. Mm -hmm. Eight, seven, six, five, boom, four, three, then got to do, then guess what? <laughs> a birded black, black burska from the sky, <laughs> from a oh. high, and we look up, and what we done see? Santa Claus with an assault rifle! Shoot! <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. <clears throat> ho, ho, ho! <laughs> And he's like, get your asses up here if you want to guide my sleigh, S-L-A-Y. <laughs> <laughs> and they were like, oh, they're a little, like a six-year-old six -year little girl getting an easy bake oven on Christmas. <laughs> do they still make those? Yes. Actually, yes, I do. Holy um, <coughs> that just shows how old he is. <coughs> what, still you, older. You never got one? Mm. <laughs> the easy bake? No. No. I got the one where you made like the, the little monster the, creatures. Uh, the, the, the creepy crawlers. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. The, the gummy things. Uh, yep, yep, uh, yep, yep, That's yep, how yep. I got so fat. I got a And so, you know, fun they're all... My parents just actually made me use the stove. So MF is all excited that <laughs> no they, training wheels you know, their, their, their plan came to a fruition that Santa Claus was there to save them. And then the Santa... He, Santa Beard explained he wasn't really Santa Claus, just a temp worker paid at the mall and stuff. <laughs> so what does MF or do? Beat the living daylights out of Santa Claus. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, that's what you do to the guy who's... <clears throat> Grabbed the elf, Santa's elf's gun and told him not to shoot. So, of course, after he... he all he could say was say, and after he's beating the crap out of Santa Claus, don't put me on your bad list, don't put me on your bad list. <laughs> <laughs> but... They, they, so they get down to it and it's like a uh, crazy ass story, huh? That ain't even the worst of it. Billy had his mama's head in the bag the whole time. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> and then the second story is uh, mischief and mayhem and a thoughtful gift. So mischief is like upset because mayhem, you know, in, back in the salad days, she got bit by a zombie and she goes, I, and she dies off, and I'm affected. I'm going to zombie town. So that Christmas. She's looking out the cemetery. He goes, ah, may Mayhem has the best gift in mind for uh, mischief. Comes out of the cemetery. She, well, she comes down, drops off the gift. She wakes. Uh, the zombie wakes up, and there's mischief with her head cut open, exposing her brains. It's like for you. <laughs> here's, your, here's my brains. It's a present for Christmas. Oh, Very short little story, and then just a bunch of. Uh, you know, pin up artwork of different zombie covers that they've done in, in the past and that kind of thing. And there's a preview of another comic book that's... Fortress of the Damned? Fortress of the Damned, which is about, uh, you know, them fighting the war. <coughs> and But the, the, the Germans have an army of zombies on their side. German hmm. zombies? Where have I heard that before? How could you get more dead? Um. <laughs> <laughs> but that's about it. I would give it uh, at least... Uh, Two two and a half uh, Sandy brains splattered all over the mall. Oh, come <laughs> on, it's the season of giving. Add in at least and that's one more. Figure and that's the there. best I could give. <laughs> oh, okay, let's ho ho. Yeah, let me ho ho. Brains. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> brains, cause the writers need some. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Sid? sorry, you know my stance on zombie anything other than Walking Dead. Walking Dead is... Urgh, urgh. Uh, have, you, <laughs> have you accepted zombie Jesus in your life? <laughs> <laughs> well, you have to bring that up. <laughs> well, technically, isn't Jesus a zombie? Yes. Yes, that's well, the joke the, there. The only thing is, did you ever hear about... I, I know we've done... I, I, we've told the story before, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, back when the old owner was here, we used to display the new comics coming in each week on the on our PowerPoint up in the shop there. Okay. And you know he would always, you know, I'd have to do it each week, and so I started throwing in random titles. Oh, it was like, do you even read this? Yeah, do you even read this, previous mm -hmm. owner? 
<laughs> you, you know, previous owner does not read this. <laughs> previous owner loves this. And then, then the jet was passed on to me. And, and my, oh, one of my big ones was big a zombie Jesus, number one. And we actually have people asking about it. Really? Yeah, yeah. they're like, when's that coming out? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, that's a joke. Uh, we wasn't was this like Zombie Jesus issue 666 or something? No, it was, it was issue number one, actually. Yeah, number one. Oh, okay. And I was actually planning on doing like the entire series, you know, <laughs> Zombie Jesus number two. Wow, this is a heavy rock. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Zombie Jesus is number three. Can you put me up for the night? Oh. oh. <laughs> Sorry, Jesus. <laughs> I feel bad. <laughs> Well, if I remember so, uh, my uh, uh, Catholic grade school education, wouldn't Lazarus be a zombie as well? Yeah. No okay. one cares about Lazarus. Well, just like, think, well, like oh, the yeah. Bible's full of zombies. Let, let's see here. Let me check. What, what's the name of this podcast? Oh, yeah, not the Christian Hour. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> let's, uh, well, we'll leave that for the celebration later. <laughs> okay. You know, I just got to... Pointed out there, I preferred the explanation of Jesus Christ the vampire. Rose from the dead. He said, you know, drink this, this is my blood. <laughs> that or there was Jesus Christ the Italian. Huh? <laughs> hey! <laughs> Bob boop. Jesus Christ the Fonz. Jesus hey. Christ the Italian. Well, I had wine and dude, bread. Yeah, but... one dude who thinks he can feed an, all these people with just fish and bread. Oh, the opinions of LG do not necessarily reflect the opinions of Lightning Comments and Games, ownership, staff, customers, people who drive by, citizens of Quarter Lane, Idaho, the United States, or anyone else for that matter. <laughs> Good one. I like it. And we do apologize for any of the... And in the Bible, we thus watch the birth of the first Olive Garden. <laughs> okay. And we do apologize for any of the following injuries that will occur. Like zombie apocalypse. Yeah. All right, oh, so yeah, the mind's got it wrong. So how? <laughs> <laughs> oh, but see, see you're not, you're you're, gonna, you're not going to tune in for the day after Christmas special. Is the Mayan apocalypse, Charlie Brown? <laughs> <laughs> Can somebody tell me what the Mayan apocalypse is really yeah. all about? <laughs> Ironically, the, on the twenty first, I started seeing all these uh, documentaries, especially on the History Channel. They're notorious for those. Yeah. It's like, the Mayans predicted this. It was like, still waiting. <laughs> the Nothing's Ma happening. The sky is still normal. When, when someone tells me, they're like, oh, the, the world's going to end. Well, I would, I would always ask, like, well, how do you think it's going to end? About 50% of them are like, zombie apocalypse. Another half of them, like the scientific community, they're like, well, the poles are going to suddenly switch from north from north to south to east to west and we're going to be thrown off the planet and it's going to destroy itself from all the gravitational forces just ripping it apart and then like 2% are like rabid poodles <laughs> <laughs> imagine how scary that would be true well would they just be like regular size or no, would they the, be like no, the new toy, Godzilla the, kind the toy poodles the ones that crawl up your leg and won't uh, get off <laughs> yeah the only reason why I was hoping for something to happen was so I could get out of paying my student loans back I was kind of hoping to that to do like that happen so I have something to do for the day. <laughs> Man, I'm bored. It's a Friday. I got nothing to do. I got a doctor's appointment. Whoop de do. And then it's just like, oh wait, zombie apocalypse. That was today, and nothing happened. So I was like, oh. here I am with my my Odachi. I'm like, all right, ready? nothing. Damn. I was. I'm sure there were so many people with watching the the, the furniture ads. No down payment till 2016. Hey, world's ending Friday. We got free free furniture. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, oh, gonna, we gotta pay. Uh, uh, what's gonna happen? The rapture. Rapture. <laughs> well, I get his furniture. <laughs> <laughs> um, some some people were saying that sci uh, scientists were calling for an oncoming darkness. Yeah, it was called night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that why the stars and the moon come out? Mm, yes, yes. Hmm. They're, they're afraid of us during the day. There's a lot of us out there. <laughs> they wait for the, for the dumb ones to go inside. <laughs> <laughs> the world is out. Is it safe? Are they gone? <laughs> <laughs> Explanation of the moon. Yeah, they're good. They're gone. Come on up. <laughs> no, no, don't worry. Don't worry. They're not uh, going to shoot anything at you. They already did it with me. <laughs> yes, because they have that, that thing they call lunacy? They're, they're going for the moon now. <laughs> Wait a minute. Someone's howling. <laughs> yeah. Someone's howling. I hear howling. 
<laughs> oh, crap, they found the bear skins. <laughs> they came up here in 1969, said it was just a rock, went back. We haven't seen them since, you know. <laughs> now they're going for Mars because they're expecting more. Ooh. Uh, where were we? <laughs> Quite a weird free discussion already. Yeah. <laughs> But wasn't it supposed to be about the holidays? Well, we it is about, about the holidays. holidays. <laughs> Jingle bells, Batman smells, Andy is not here. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> there was much rejoicing. <laughs> well, seeing as how it's, you know, Christmas shopping, I'm pretty sure he's about ready to hang himself at Kmart. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, you want this? You want this? When well, are you going to get this? <laughs> I am uh, Andy and Sporting Goods. Andy and Sporting Goods. There he is, just hanging from the rafters. <laughs> yeah, I work at a uh, oh, another <laughs> large retail store here in town. I'm so glad I was outside all day. I like walked inside during lunch, and, and that's right. You're a cart racer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Which is nice. I mean, I can only imagine that that job can have its perks. You don't have to deal with stupid people. Well, a lot of stupid people driving, but not them on foot. Yeah. I, I do have to deal with a lot of stupid drivers, but uh, not too many stupid people individually. You're not. Why did you come get my cart? Because you're lazy. <laughs> <laughs> you expect me to just get that for you? You're a horrible person. <laughs> really? <laughs> just push your cart where to the place where everyone else uh, takes them. Yeah, and we'll be fine. I don't want to. I'm lazy. Shut up. Mike, before people think you have a grudge. <laughs> I've never pushed carts before, but I've seen some pretty disgruntled cart pushers before. Oh yeah, I saw. I've I've seen one guy push the cart because, like, uh, something must have between this guy and the other guy. He just took a cart, and threw it right to the side of a car. Literally, oh. literally just like, Duh! And I'm, <laughs> I remember getting like out of my car at the same time, just like, I want to go somewhere else now. <laughs> Or so this is back when I was driving my infamous Buick called Lead Sled. Uh, <laughs> this thing was well, that's, just... that's a tale for another time. No, it's not. It's got enough holiday meaning for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tank. It makes it easy for me to get around during winter. What? Uh, Traffic congestion? Plow through them. <laughs> Someone giving you lip? Run them over. Oh uh, yeah, that's need to be turn about the corner, this... lock the front brakes, and slide around the way. <laughs> This would be about the same time where it's out of my hands. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, is that that car? Yep. Oh. Ah. Uh, yep. That, I'm the I'm the one in the in the shopping mall parking lots with the carts and go, and where they have the corrals and I'm just going well, about five foot distance. Okay, I'm gonna aim. If it doesn't make it, it's an act of God. Act of God. I don't care. <laughs> Comes back and you're on your own. I'm the same type of guy. You just walk up there. You're like. It's another five feet. It's another like five He's got a low tank. car six to the car corral. <sighs> the wind's at a speed of five knots. Well, well it, it, it's, like, it's like watching when you're bowling, okay? It's almost the exact same thing. Like, whoo, you're like, curve, 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 not there, not there. Ah! I hit one pin. Yeah. <laughs> so you just look over, there's a guy falling over on his face. Oh, <laughs> uh, there was once I did that, and it kind of like rebounded, started coming back, and somebody turned into that lane. <laughs> and I just like turned around. Okay, it was good. Oh, okay, it did hit. Okay, I don't care. I don't know what this reminds me, but I, I've. It was a scientific fact called gravity. Sorry. I must say, there's nothing funnier than a guy who's completely drunk, trying to walk on ice. <laughs> <laughs> because he's drunk already. I've seen this before. I, um, but I can make it to the car. This is back when we were over in Seattle uh, visiting family, and we, we watched this guy get out of the bar. There's a nice sheet of ice near the road there. And, he was convinced that he's like, oh, I can handle it, I'll be good. Like, I can hear him talking to <laughs> well, you know, talk to his buddies. And his brother, I'll see you guys tomorrow. And he gets out there. <laughs> and you ever see maneuver where <laughs> so, someone, like, automatically knows there's something there. They don't register it. Like, his natural side, like, his natural inner monologue is like, don't do it. It's not worth it. And he's like, no, I'm fine. I'll be good. He mistake that for his conscience telling him not to drive or something. It was him war trying to me. warn him not to step on this ice. <laughs> one, two, steps, steps one foot on it, and his foot just goes, it's his right foot, step forward, slides, <laughs> and he falls flat on his ass, he's facing right back toward the bar again. <laughs> and here's the thing, he is convinced he's just that drunk, that there's no ice. He's just like, oh my god, I've had too much. 
and he tries to put his hand out <laughs> and slip and cocks himself, <laughs> sits back up, slips again with his ass. <laughs> I have never seen someone sit on ice and slip with his own ass. <laughs> And fall back on his head, and he just lays there for the next 20 minutes. He's completely conscious. We can tell there's no blood, no nothing. Just... <laughs> I felt like going to ask him, was like, what's up? I, I expected like, I'm waiting to sober up. <laughs> I like, decided that yeah. gravity's against me, and I'm just going to wait right here. Okay. True, true story. Uh, where, where I work, <laughs> there was this lady who apparently had a bit too much to drink. So, first of all, she stumbles right into this display of like cupcakes we have set up. So, oh my God. so <laughs> we, you know, we're picking it, picking up the cupcakes, and you know, and whatever, and realize she had left her purse there. So I take the purse to customer service desk, and we had uh, the this lady I was working with. We had already smelled like alcohol in her breath. So when she came to pick up her purse, we were following her out the door just to make sure she wasn't driving. Well, we have those doors where you, in case of emergency, you push them open. Yeah. She walks right into those with enough force to knock it open and fall flat on her face on the concrete outside. <laughs> and and these, you, can't, you can't just push on these doors. You can't you, gently tap it. You have, to, you have to give them some, uh, you know, some amount of force push. Yeah, to, to open them up. So she ran into these with enough force, not only to open it up, to, but to fall flat in her face on the concrete. I'm not drunk, I'm a rhino. <laughs> <laughs> and, this whole, and, and this whole time she was like, oh, my equilibrium is all off balance. Could it be because of the bottle of Jack Daniels you have running through your veins? <laughs> Alcohol. The world's not compass. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> fortunately, she wasn't driving, but it was like, uh, well, which way is north? That's the sky. <laughs> so. <laughs> Once again, welcome to the Lightning, Lightning Cast, Cast Holiday <laughs> Show. <laughs> I live over there. That's the shoe department. I, <laughs> <laughs> You're a tank. I'm not a tank. I'm an airplane. Beep, beep. <laughs> Get out of the water. <laughs> oh, one of our greater creations. <laughs> uh, <sighs> but yeah, this is our holiday special. Now, now that we've got the drunk relatives out of the way, <laughs> we definitely have to get like a criteria, maybe, because we just kind of hopped in here after the whole helium ace incident. <laughs> <laughs> the helium ace incident, 2012. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. We're still what, what symbolizes a good holiday for you guys? Helium. Like, <laughs> yeah, um, day off of work with pay. <laughs> you, you can tell there's always. With with holidays, the kids are excited. Oh, we get school off. We get presents and crap. When you're an adult, you're like, I get a day off. Are you I can serious? do nothing. Yeah. I get to meet with family, maybe. <laughs> and I can watch a documentary. And football. Or play Gradius. <laughs> <laughs> to me, the only thing that symbolizes the start of the holidays is when I have to put up the freaking decorations. <laughs> it's bringing out the lights. <laughs> They're blinking! Why are they blinking? <laughs> Get a flashlight! I'll blow a fuse! Okay, you, you wanna know how good it is for me when it comes to a holiday? How, <coughs> how I symbolize this is because my brother and his fiance, they love Christmas. Absolutely. And they I would help them decorate if I was around when this ha when they would actually decorate, but they choose the weirdest <laughs> times to decorate. I'm not there. Well, like they use they do it when I'm working. Mm-hmm. And they, <laughs> they do it when I'm out like just out and about getting groceries or whatnot. And I, here's the example. Uh -oh. I go upstairs for maybe two hours because I need a nap, okay? I'm really tired. You know, main room we have there. Looks like, you know, dining room table, couches, kitchen. Everything looks great. I come down. There's a Christmas tree where the dining table was. <laughs> there's a screen of lights the entire way around the bottom floor. And I'm just going... <laughs> what the hell happened? Did I just step into a Ro Norman Rockwell painting? What the hell? Happened? We're not not you know we're not in Oz anymore. I'm gonna say it that way. <laughs> you know, Kansas. I'm is glad Santa, I'm not in Kansas. Is Santa Claus mark his territory already? <laughs> like I, I swear, like a Yuletide log. 
<laughs> just like fell and exploded. <laughs> oh, God. I'm, I'm happy for like the, the cheeriness, the hat, but uh. like it's like changing a habitat with an orangutan. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Did I get darted or something? <laughs> that was where I got tranquilized. And I and you know, I'm like, well, that's cool. And here's. Here's how into it there, because my brother bought this Christmas tree. Like, it, yeah, it's a it's a plastic one. You just put up. He bought it last year, and he didn't tell me about this feature that comes with it. It has a remote. <laughs> <laughs> a remote it controlled Christmas. It tree? turns on the lights, turns them off, makes them blink. <laughs> and I'm sitting here going, "Oh my god, what has happened?" <laughs> and. I think it's one of the, like, I, I don't, as much as I rack on it, it's one of the coolest damn trees I've ever seen in my oh, life, right. just because, oh, <laughs> click, oh, <laughs> click, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's got the remote on, off. It has another set of on, off switches. <clears throat> I don't know what to. <laughs> this is the mystery of Christmas. <laughs> oh, I clicked gosh. them. Something popped. <laughs> like I hit the on button. I hear <laughs> Something came on, and I don't know why. <laughs> I'm concerned what's in this tree. I think there's like an armory in this tree, like a, like a redneck inside rifle fixed Christmas tree that's just disguising this weapon of mass destruction. That's why I'm like, click, uh, click. Then the neighbors screaming that the garage door is munching down <laughs> on your car. <laughs> but you're like, uh, okay, just and, a coincidence. And, and here, and here's another example. The same day uh -oh. after I've Come down, witness the, the, the lighting ceremony in my own apartment. <laughs> I go outside, and the neighbors, they have Christmas lights out. <laughs> I'm in an apartment, and they decorated just their side, so it's like bland, bland, bland lights. Bland. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. This is what you wore. Bland, bland, bland. Lights. <laughs> he threw his arms in the air for that one. Lights. <laughs> No, um, and, no. and here's what happens because my brother is apparently a very competitive person. Oh no! I leave oh, no. and I come back. Now we're lights, <laughs> lights, bland, 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 bland. Because we like cap off the end of the apartment complex. <laughs> now you and apparently also, you have like the bad luck because you have like I remember that little fence of yours. Yeah, our fence apparently has a target painted on it because <laughs> everyone goes right through it. Wait, did he get run over again? Yes. <laughs> For the fourth freaking time. This year? Yes! <laughs> First time was because our neighbors, like, let, let me just paint this picture of this scenario. It's early in the morning. We were about I'm lights. tired. I need a shower. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Every day is a good, good day when you paint. paint. Um, <laughs> And no, I'm, I, I'm enjoying my shower. It's like, it's just starting. I'm like, yeah, shampoo, wonderful, crash. What the hell? And I'm like, oh, God. Oh, didn't you blame your brother on this first? Well, the first thing is, I don't think the shampoo out of the hair. Grab out, Tony! <laughs> like I yell out the door, and it's like, what? <laughs> like, was that you? Yeah. And he, no, his response is, wasn't me! <laughs> <laughs> and so, so I like that, how he automatically goes. <laughs> so I, I throw on my boxer shorts, bolt downstairs. Okay. That's <laughs> <laughs> just a funny picture of <laughs> Well, I'll put it like this. <laughs> this guy, he has ex explanation. <laughs> okay, it was that he was attempting to go in reverse, uh -huh. and the opposite occurred. Because <laughs> <laughs> he had a manual, and apparently was stuck in drive. And apparently, I don't drive manuals. I can't. My feet hit every pedal. I try to stop. I've hit the clutch and the gas. So the vehicle has a whole confusion, has an emotional breakdown, because I'm asking too much of it. And so he had bolted. <laughs> right in there and just smash. Okay? And so I get down there fast enough, because apparently I'm the fastest man to remove shampoo from his scalp <laughs> and yell at his brother in the. <laughs> <laughs> or something he didn't do. In a 30 second span. Yeah. Run down the stairs, <clears throat> open the door, and I see him back out and have the, the, most, the widest eyes I've ever seen in my life. Just <laughs> and. and <sighs> I just remember looking at this and you know, 
he explains because like, oh, my wife used it last and left it in drive. Right. <laughs> right. So he, we get it fixed there. Two weeks. <laughs> Two damn weeks. Okay, <laughs> because we've got this... Uh, Happy this, holidays, people. We've got this family that lives on the other side of the apartment complex. Like, well, there's a road, and they're on the other side there. And none of them know how to, none of them know how to park. Whatsoever. Mm -hmm. the, the side fence is right in front of where some people park. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll give you an example of how bad they know, know how to park. I'm watching Netflix. Okay. I'm enjoying my day. <laughs> Until. <laughs> I'm like, oh, this is wonderful. I'm watching Thundercats. You know, I relive in some nostalgia. Oh, no, the classic seriously? Thundercats? Yeah, the classic Sweet. Thundercats. You know, it was sight beyond sight. Thundercats. Yeah, exactly. You know exactly <laughs> what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Well, I have these uh, drawings on my wall, you know, in frames, not just because I get bored and draw on the wall. Um, <laughs> they're like they're in frames. Back. I've got a Gurnlogan wall scroll on my, my wall next to me in the living room because I elected to put it there and no one's taking it down. <coughs> Nobody. <laughs> and I'm like, da 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 da. Boom! <laughs> Something has hit the outside wall. Of your apartment? Yes, of my apartment. And launches a nail out of the wall into the middle of the living room. <laughs> okay. Um, and I felt like... <laughs> Damage to forward deflector shield, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> and I got there just long enough to watch this guy back away from the... There, I have a knack of seeing people back away from problems. <laughs> and so I don't know who has done this, because two weeks later... <laughs> <laughs> two weeks after the, the, the two weekends after the... No, the, 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 back to the previous two weeks stupid driver story. Okay. Um... We hear, I hear this other crash, oh, and this is, a, this is late at night, okay. so I give life? no crap. <laughs> I'm tired, I want to sleep, <clears throat> I'll find out what the hell happened in the morning. Mm -hmm. If I burn to death in some horrible fire, then so be it. Because if it was something that exploded, <laughs> and I'm done. Um, I go out there, the, the, there's the, this fence, there's three sections of fence in this nice, you know, three-fourths square. Okay. The one close to our door got hit by the dumbass next to us. The adjacent side got hit by stupid parking man. <laughs> Great supervillain, by the way. <laughs> uh, I come out there and it hasn't done as much damage. And luckily enough, I had we had the the building super out there, and I'm like, mm -hmm. hey. Uh, some jackass has decided to challenge our fence and won. <laughs> and he's like, oh, I, I saw that. I was going to see if you didn't do it. We park in front, okay? Not to the side because it's a whole different thing. So there's no way we're going to hit it. Month later, after this has been fixed. <laughs> the forward-facing fence. <laughs> <laughs> it was ceiling it left out. Busted by a guest of one of the other families. <laughs> I, re I remember this because it smashed and a chunk of the fence hit our front window. Uh -huh. That's how good of a hit it was. Oh. And literally when I talked to the super, he's like, are you trying to piss me off? <laughs> like, I call him up and I'm like, guess what happened? <laughs> you will never believe this. <laughs> and he's like, we're just going to take that damn thing down. And they haven't yet. I'm, I'm kind of hoping they do, but I kind of You're just going to have to, like, put in some metal posts and concrete. I'm going to put up a sign. Do not hit, please. Yeah, I think you should keep it up, because that's probably the one thing that's kept your house, from, your apartment, I've, from being entered in I by a car. Well, yeah. Well, I felt like I should, like, hang a, like leave it, like, bust and hang a sign. What happened to the last Jehovah's Witness? <laughs> 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 no solicitors arrow down <laughs> at the hole. Now that I've ranted about the hole in front of my house. Uh, how many A-holes have to make other holes? Depends on how drunk they are. <laughs> yeah. So I'm hoping tonight I don't go back and like, oh, look, another hole. <coughs> Actually, I think there's still a hole in that. Yep, there is. <laughs> the, the, the fourth hole, which I don't know what happened, is still there. I have just given up. Your super hasn't fixed it yet? Nope. Okay. He's I think given he's up. given up. <laughs> We've all given up. I think he's going to let natural... 
Natural selection, take yeah. that fence down for him. It's going to happen eventually. So that has really, you know, nothing to do with the holidays and the <laughs> stupid drivers. Which, another thing, holiday drivers. Oh you have my people from out of gosh. town, you've got people that are... Here we are bitching about... <laughs> well, here's the bad things about the holidays. Um... Well, we already know the good things. Well, you know, being right, with family, well, well, getting well, presents. Well, I was bringing up the point of the, the whole, <coughs> you know, you can tell it's Christmas time because everyone's excited about time off or you, you see families and then you get your fence wrecked into. <laughs> yeah. You know, you also meet some of the, the most interesting people during the holidays because, like I said, people are traveling through town. Here, I've met some really funny people. <laughs> I met someone who walked in, looked like they had killed a raccoon. <laughs> like the hat they had looked like it literally just killed a raccoon and put it on their head. Like it was that beat up, that gangly looking, looked like it had rabies or some sort of <laughs> you know mange or whatnot. And they come in and ask for what the hell did they ask for? It wasn't Hero Clicks. Um, oh, Bakugan. You remember those things? Yeah. Yeah. The, 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 the franchise war that didn't win. <laughs> um, hey. You guys have Bakugan? Those still exist. <laughs> <laughs> I think they do. I think they, they, do. they, they, they do. I just not here. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to... I don't see how that's a game, in my opinion. Yeah. You roll the ball and it hit the metal and pop the ball. And it turns into a monster. whoop dee do. Well, what other... What, what, what does something similar? You throw a ball, mm. and a monster, monster pops, pops out. Mm. Oh, well, yeah. Digimon! Digimon. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, a uh, <laughs> Wait a think ahead. Uh, uh, now, okay, here's, here's something. Um, name a toy that you wanted as a kid. Uh, I never got. That never got, or one that you were so, ex and one that you were so happy to get. Uh, hmm. I got a rock. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are from Guam. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> we love you, Guam. Seriously, badass people. Uh, For anyone who I... wants to ask, we do have electricity. <laughs> Our main religion is Catholicism. And we do believe in Santa. And, and no, us. I don't have to fight a saber-toothed tiger to get to my bed at night. Uh, yeah. No, that's the Tuluism. <laughs> so, so what, what's this? I know A's must have a pretty good one. Well, no, I, 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 stick I, I, and dirt. I, I, usually, I usually got most of the toys I want. I think, you know, I kind of uh, transpose my childhood onto my kids mm. now that mm -hmm. I have them. You know, kind of, uh, you know, there, if I didn't get a toy, I get as an adult, I can get them that toy. So this way, I've got it. <laughs> because you know, I had the older brother who would break toys and stuff like that. If he mm. gets pissed off, it's like my etch a, etch -a sketch got a nice little splattered a, a pain effect. <laughs> he just got pissed. I've seen that. I'm sitting there just. You lit it away, and you got mad and jumped on it. Oh, shattered glass. I get these. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't get any more. Shattered glass. That's a really good looking, you know, job yeah, you done like, there. Uh, see, give me yours. I'll show you how it's done. <laughs> I, you know, I look forward to the toys that, you know, I used to have that they still make. Like Rock'em Sock'em Robots. Hell yeah. <laughs> and get my kids those. I, I mean, uh... I, I, I thought of another gift. It's like, hey, hon, we don't use the N64 anymore. Vinny's got a TV in his room. Let's hook it up and hit, let's give it to him for Christmas because it's new to him. Right. <laughs> and, and then we video. can play his stuff. <laughs> but the, the, the other part about you know the holidays now is since I do cosplay and on Christmas Eve I have a private party where I do Santa Claus, I, I still, you know, my wife... That, you know we're Wiccans, but we, you know we still try to. I still try to instill. You know, you know the gifts came from Santa Claus. And on Christmas Eve, I will throw back on the Santa suit and put the presents out. Yeah. Now the 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 fun thing is, I also have a Grinch costume. Ah. So it's like you know if, they, if I ever catch you know if Santa Mr. ever catches Grinch. you seeing him deliver the presents, he's gonna make a phone call to the Grinch, and the Grinch is gonna come by and take the gifts. <laughs> so if I ever catch him, it's like. 
okay, switch costumes, but <laughs> go out there an hour later and take the gifts away and see if they're still awake. <laughs> That'll teach them, no, you don't wake up when Santa Claus is coming. But, uh, you know, the, the Logan, the youngest one the other day, started saying Santa. Aww. So and, and the thing is, I looked, I looked everywhere. I so wanted, he, he got his hair later than his older brother, and I so wanted to find a long sleeve yellow sweater and a pair of red overalls for him. <laughs> I would run around the house, you know, teaching, damn you, vile woman, and victory is mine and such. Because <laughs> the other day, it's like, yeah, he, he, he demonstrates his bam bam like strength. He'll grab his high chair and just move it where he wants it. So I, I, I'm, uh, you know, just messing around with Vinny, and I hear it, it sounds like he's moving the high chair. I look over, and he's actually climbed up into it because we're getting dinner ready and set down. It's like, yeah, I'm ready for dinner. What? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, he's got that intellect where I wanted to get him such a cute stewy outfit. Didn't he? Where's the person who serves the food? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he looked towards the kitchen. He's like, is it ready yet, Mom? Yeah. <laughs> I'm here. Go away. Yeah. So, like, the next day I sat and go, okay, Logan, it's almost time to eat. Now, let's see if yesterday wasn't a fluke. He walked over, climbed up. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> but, you know, it's, it's, the, it's the fact of, like, just having them the next morning because... Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I will say my house is white trash because I don't have an official ladder. I have, to, I have to go up on my roof and hang the lights kind of upside down, uh. <laughs> pound, pound them in there, try and not fall off the roof while <laughs> hanging up the lights. So I'm like, next time dress as Spider-Man. That way it won't feel like much of a chore. Not when it's wet out there. I ain't slipping down. <laughs> because a wet well, costume is one thing. Torn spandex is another. <laughs> okay. And in this weather. With great that. Yuletide chair comes great Yuletide responsibility. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crap. So, you know, I we, fit, we fit it in there. <laughs> what the hell? That was Matt. Hey, Matt. Yo. I still had the, the Christmas lights from last year up, so I put the Halloween lights up, and I'm just like, screw it. I'm just going to take out the extension cords, plug in the Christmas lights, leave the Halloween lights up, because until I get a ladder, I ain't taking them down. <laughs> <laughs> but, the, you know, the kids just, they like, you know, Vinny's like, oh, you know, uh, there's a guy that lives like five houses down, and he's got all the inflatables in the yard, and, oh. you know, it's over busy. <laughs> Yeah. So, uh, like, you, you, get like, you got that pellet rivalry. gun, right? Like in, like in the cartoon Fairly Odd Parents, I refer to him as Dinkleberg. <laughs> Dinkleberg. <laughs> so it's like, and Vinny has actually adopted. It's like, like I, we, I took him around for Halloween. He's like, let's go to Dinkleberg's place. It's like, <laughs> this is where I put my holiday cheer if I had any. <laughs> so you know, I eventually want to try and outdo Dinkleberg. I just don't have the equipment to do so. But the best reaction, every time we have the lights on, we can go out somewhere, come back, and Logan's like, wow. That's all he said. Wow. <laughs> like, well, wow. <laughs> Is that Godzilla in a Santa hat? I have limited resources, son. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, uh, you know, it, it's going to uh, be just the the trip toy of, you know, having them. I mean, Logan's still learning how to open gifts and that because well, we at least opened one on uh, Solstice since we're wick wicking in that. And yeah. it's like... Vinny's like, we've discovered that the metallic wrapping paper, the foil stuff, is hard to tear open. Yeah. Vince was there for like 20 minutes. Trying to, I can't get it. Like, I'm trying. It's like, like, Logan, Over like, the weakness, the tape, the tape. He goes, one flap, it's like, I'm done. I'm done. It's like, well, let's walked see. away. It's like, don't you want to finish? <laughs> Damn you and such. And such. <laughs> well, let's see. Mike, since you already showed us how to get through. But I had, I had a like, <laughs> I had. You know, I had. What's this story? <laughs> you were you there. Were, was he? Yeah. What? Where? When? Yeah. Explaining how to get through bulletproof glass. We were talking. Somehow we got into the talking about the Walking Dead. You were talking about the Facebook uh, game, game for the Walking we Dead. We blasted oh. my head off. And then yeah. somehow we talked about the episode where they kind of oh. get. Oh, get they use the hand CDC. grenade. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right. Anyway. And Mike explained the <laughs> yeah. story. Anyway. But you know, I, I got most of the toys I wanted, and you know, it's it's gonna be fun to get the, those same toys. Well, okay, and said, what was a popular toy back then? Oh my gosh! Now you know the girls had the Easy Bake Oven, like you said. We had the the creepy crawlers where you take the liquid goop and you pour it in the molds and let it set, and then you just have yeah. all the, the rubbery monsters to throw at your sister and creep her the hell yeah. out. <laughs> that was uh, growing up in my house. Uh, I had my, my eldest sister always sat there and says. Ace, you want to come up to the room? Why? 
I need you to take care of one of your friends. <laughs> Whether it's a fake one or a real one. <laughs> I was always the exterminator for some odd reason. But one, um, I mean, I found one in kind of crappy condition at, at, at the antique store. But um, it was called a strange change machine. Came with these hard rubber squares. Okay, and then you have the incubator, where, and the, the you have the the plastic dinosaur like set. B basically, like the that. incubator was uh, yeah. They make the it was one little, of the most dangerous toys out there because you leave it on and it gets really hot, and then you got to put the block in there so it. Well, it's the, a light bulb, the, the isn't it? Yes, but yeah. but you know, it's like you touch it, it's like ah, you know, <laughs> third degree burns. Look what I can do, mom. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, and then you know they feel Lights! like little dinosaurs or you know robotic monsters or whatever. And the one cool thing about it, as long as the, it, it worked, it had this little metal tray, and you had a crank, so it was like a car compactor for your monsters. <laughs> you got tired of playing with it, put them in there, <laughs> squish it right back into a brick. Ah, ah. And then you can read, oh, let's, let's let's charge up the, let's run up the electricity bill. <laughs> yep, they're playing with the strange change machine. <laughs> <laughs> Smash. <laughs> we had, we, you know, and I, 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 that's the thing. I, like, I found myself this month watching um, the Travel Channel Toy Hunter. And he goes off to different collections. Yeah, people I've... have those old toys. And you go, I remember that stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's like, but now it goes for so much. It's like really hard to find. Well, yeah, you find the first Barbie, and <laughs> yeah, or like if you find a double telescoping Vader, one that someone doesn't break something on. <laughs> Talk about toys. Well, <laughs> but I'll get I'll get to that in a moment. Time to teleport. But there, was, there was one, that, and they they said there was only, as far as they knew, two made, and you would have enjoyed it. What was that? Uh, no, it was the. Um, Limited edition, the the pedal car, but it was designed oh, like speeder the speeder bike. bike. Oh, and, you know, I mean that would be one of the coolest damn toys. You know, back around the Return of the Jedi, if you were a kid, it's like, <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. I somebody comes out on their big wheel. It's like, oh yeah, it's like, ha, yeah. <laughs> check out what I got. <laughs> oh Actually, damn! I think the one he would have enjoyed the most was uh, they found a prototype uh, toy for Boba Fett. The rocket firing yeah. Boba Fett. Yeah. Oh my goodness! Did that ever the ones where parents, well, the ones where parents went up in arms because you'll shoot your eye out. Well, <laughs> more is like it, it was more like choking. you'll you'll shoot that rocket into your throat and choke, because when here's here's the story when that was being developed, there were toys for the original Battlestar Galactica TV show, and uh, children had uh, choked on the small rockets um, that they fired, so. Um, they were they were developing the 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 rocket firing Boba Fett prototype, oh. and then they decided for safety they're just going to you know keep Mount, it keep it, it solid, there, mount it on there, and just have it so it wouldn't come off. Yeah, but they actually um, I want to say two years ago they actually did release a rocket firing Boba Fett as a. a like mail in promotional item. Yeah. Do not your hold on a second. Go ahead and set up a curve line on that. <laughs> Have a safe trip. I'm not out of here yet. Well, I'm just saying <laughs> <laughs> Gets outside. <laughs> oh damn it. <laughs> uh, Mike predicted it. Yeah, cut out that part, so <laughs> ish. Just, have a good one. I'm not done yet. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> we'll miss him. I'm not dead. Crap. <laughs> <laughs> I get uh, his toys. <laughs> well, you know, speaking of on the subject of toys, mm -hmm. I'll move along. <laughs> uh, me, I pretty much got every, every toy I wanted. Lucky dears. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I was spoiled because, you know, even when my report card had like F's on it, I just told them, I promise I'll do better. I, like, I like the shape of the F better than the A. Yeah, to me, I always countered that with, well, I think F should stand for fantastic. <laughs> who, wants to be, who wants to be average? Because, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I learned what the, what the letters meant. 
I was like, average? Who wants to be average? <laughs> uh, so that's why, in my mind, I thought that, you know, it should have been reversed. <laughs> Were you the youngest in your family? <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Same, same thing. So it's like, yeah, so okay, I basically died, got everything. There's only two. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Luke. Uh, okay. <laughs> but uh, I think like, one of the best toys I ever got was, um, okay, you guys remember the the movie, the sequel to Jurassic Park, The Lost World? Yes. Yeah. Well, my parents got me uh, the... They had a the toy for the trailer they had in there. Oh, oh yeah, the, 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 the articulated the one, where the T Rex put the one that pushed off the, yeah. the side. It yeah. was a uh, it was oh. a trailer where you got ones the Increase lab, rate of climb. <laughs> the lab where you know they put the dinosaur, and they even had it where you know the front part pops up. So you know, like they make in the commercials, the T Rex comes, rips off the front of the trailer, takes off everything. Mm -hmm. So they had that and. Uh, I was pretty crafty about this because, uh, you know, you got to wait till the next day. Me, I would, <coughs> you know, when everyone was asleep, I walk up, just peel a little bit of the wrapper off <laughs> just to see if I could get a, a hint at what it was. And then, uh, you know, to make sure I didn't get caught, I would turn it around and push it up against the tree. <laughs> <laughs> I did the I did that for like the first, for like the first, uh, the two days before Christmas, and then it's like, okay, you can go and open your presents. I was like, yay! <laughs> <laughs> I made sure to grab that one at as stealth, and as quickly as I can. Shred! <laughs> it's like, shred, shred, get rid of the evidence. <laughs> Yuletide confessions. And I looked at that, and I was like, awesome! Of course, the... Uh, I don't know if they made it, if they actually made it back then, but the one toy I really wanted was uh, the the Ad Ad Walker from Empire. Yeah. They made it back then? Uh, yeah. Well, then again, this was like the late 90s, so. <laughs> oh, uh, late 90s. I think, I think they did have one in the 90s. It Wasn't it like a uh, battle set kind of thing? The, um... I don't know if they had the individual doll, like the actual. It, it, it was one where you could, um, you could like fit a few figures in it, mm -hmm. and it would play a few audio clips. Then you could trip it with a trip wire, and it would yeah. explode after being shot by a nut. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then Samuel Jackson popped uh, out, yeah. and it connected with every other film in history, <laughs> in Star Wars. Oh. <laughs> oh. I think like. Uh... <coughs> <laughs> okay. All right. This just in. <laughs> We've received a, a note from Lou. The weather's coming in, so he must take an early leave. So we must wish Lou a happy holidays. Be, be careful on your trip back. Sayonara. <laughs> and I hope that your family has a great time. Thanks and so. and enjoy the sweets. Mm -hmm. And Seattle's kicking ass right now. Yeah. <laughs> so, Seattle. Seattle. The Seahawks, the Seahawks are, are beating the uh, 49ers at halftime. It is a holiday yeah. miracle. <laughs> <laughs> Holy wow. wow. Yeah. For and those of you listening for the sports. <laughs> <laughs> Go Seahawks. 11.42. Uh, but seriously, uh, <clears throat> so be careful out there. And, you know, I know it's, it's going to be a good Christmas for you. So yeah. just get back there, enjoy it. And like we got we got the ship yeah. batting down here, so we'll be back. Right, okay, okay. Take care. Adios. Uh, Adios. Well, See you later, my friend. I think the last thing I want to talk about was uh, I remember the best Christmas gift I ever got was uh, they had this uh, set from the I don't know which catalog it was from. Either Toys R Us or <laughs> or JC Penny or some uh, some kind of big catalog, you know, company Sears? that sends out the big catalogs. And this was like a a Star yeah, Wars toys. animal set. No, yeah. where you had a it had a Job of the Hut with like that came with Han Solo, mm -hmm. the Dewback that came with a Sand Trooper or whatever. I forgot what they called those long neck things that the Jawas ride on. 
Uh, Rontos. There we go. And <laughs> there was like one more. I'm trying to, or I think it was just a three. I think there was, might have, I can't remember if there was a Bantha or not. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry. It Maybe a, a Rancor? No, there. Uh, but didn't like they did like the like the Death Star, the older one, like it was like the different levels didn't have the trash compactor with the Dinoga in it. And no bathrooms. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no bathrooms. Uh, no seat belt, no seat belts on the br br bridge of the Enterprise, no bathrooms on the Death Star, <laughs> and William Shatner can't act. <laughs> <laughs> That's the three things in life you can get by on. Sorry, Shatner. Yeah. Too many toys. <laughs> I on the wing. Have way too much. Uh, now, there's well, another impression on helium. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful uh, new toupee. I needed another. <laughs> Sadly, though, no, the, I had to get rid of all of those. Oh. Well, the, the thing in order is, to though, move out here, we had to sell a lot of things. Because you were saying how you you know, like just carefully try and <laughs> peek at a corner. <laughs> this is where it came in handy to have an older brother who built the balsa wood model airplanes. Because he had the Zacno knives. Oh. So you go along right where the tape is, just. Cup. Okay, fold it right back up. Put the, put a new piece of tape. Nobody hey. was wiser. Hey, I <laughs> improvised. You're getting this. Oh, sweet. Just act surprised. Yeah. I, I improvised. I pushed it against the tree because <laughs> I know my parents is like they want to think, you know, that box is slightly askew. Just let me move it. That's they would just go. It's There's right something strange afoot in this household. I must find <laughs> out what is going on with his present. Or that. That's where you volunteer. Oh, no, I want to be Santa this year and pass out the gift. <laughs> okay, this one's for me. <laughs> yeah. I, okay, I go. I put my stack behind uh, me. So it's, all right, so we, yeah, we, we, we've done. got your classification. So how about you? Um, I think the go, so awesomest Christmas, uh, Christmas awesomest. gift I got was... Uh, a speaking spell. <laughs> Actually, I did get one of those. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it when you touch me yeah. like that. <laughs> Robot Stay with me. <laughs> 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 um, I got a my first computer in 1986. Oh God! Wow! So was <laughs> no, it was it was worse. It was a Tandy. Oh, <laughs> so a silicon screen that. I, I got a yeah. chisel and a hammer. <laughs> yeah, like I got a I got a monitor that was heavier than I was. To, to, uh, to save the hard disk, I use smoke signal. Yeah, the the uh, the keyboard Morse code. <laughs> the, the keyboard and the the hard drive were like one unit. <laughs> wow. Ah. It it was a you know some of our users may not know you know what this is, but actually you know use the the floppy disk. No. What is the, the floppy disk? The small one? No, or the, the really, big one. The, the huge one. The one where you can eat dinner off of and then put it back in. Uh, yeah. The one that looks Larry like Michael you should... Frank said he had a floppy disk. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> the one that looks like you can serve pizza on it? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, like the, the you know, the one, the black square one. <laughs> yeah. Everyone <laughs> 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 no read it. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my, I'm, my, I'm surprised I can make hard drive that sound with such accuracy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, yeah <laughs> back, but back in the 80s, if you had like your own personal computer, you're... You so know, that with aviators and a popped collar made the most badass <laughs> guy out there. Yeah. <laughs> the power glove is so badass. <laughs> <laughs> no, so that was like the 90s. <laughs> the hell the did power you glove? use the power glove? You don't. <laughs> yeah. The power glove. With, you ever try playing Mario with a power glove? Nope. One for first of all, I cannot wear a power glove. <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't wear one since I was about six. Do they only make power gloves in one size? Yeah, basically, they didn't okay. anticipate fat kids. <laughs> they did well, or you know, lofty giants like myself. Mm. They, they weren't. They the weren't planning game. on creating the obese generation <laughs> just yet. Not quite. So yet. they they kind of jumped the gun on that one. Nickelodeon. <laughs> yeah. But <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> All that in a bag of chips. Yeah. Uh, wow. So that's what led to obesity. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> Uh, <laughs> speaking of Nickelodeon, <laughs> 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 
a reference. I got a yeah. flying monkey. <laughs> <laughs> so, so your, your big oh, thing God. was the, the floppy disk. <laughs> yeah, the, the floppy disk <laughs> computer that I I don't think I ever... Um, the only thing I ever used it for was like games and trying to learn how to type. Like most, com- like most computers you get. Well, like, like most red-blooded Americans. Yeah. Other you, than what you games did they have on the... I, I had like skydiver, a skydiver, drill runner, yeah. something like that. I had, I got a, I had like, uh, uh, like this helicopter simulation game, like a an Apache helicopter simulation game for it, and a couple like, uh, like, um, like a monop, like some like, mi- simple games like Monopoly and like a little little flying game. But yeah, speaking of Nickelodeon, I remember I remember back in the day after after junior high, I'd be watching, you know, I'd have You Can't Do That on television, <laughs> play <laughs> playing my little flight simulator game. <laughs> and I was just a happy little kid. Did you have a mullet too? No. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is the best thing in the world. <laughs> as you're as you're just watching all the pixels on the screen, slowly low, you're, yeah. watching, you're watching, you know, salute your shorts. Yeah. I, I watched it quite a bit, actually. Yeah. Hey, what dude. What was that about? It was, it was going to a, a summer camp. Oh. Shorts and, and it's where the bullies like run the little nerds up the flag. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hello. There was. We're at camp hey, something, something. We have you yeah. in our. Yeah. There, <laughs> you mad. I remember. Al, that Alex show. Mack. Uh, God, Pink, I'm, I'm Pink, just going through like, all the old classic shows. Yeah. All that. <laughs> classic for us. I watched, I watched TV Land. I realized it was classic for back then. Mm-hmm. Jefferson's. Yes, red, red, you know, red Sanford. Mm-hmm. Sanford and Son. Yeah, I'm yeah. coming, Elizabeth. <laughs> yeah, every God, you know what? I, I found it was actually. Yeah, oh God, <laughs> I found it's actually kind of enjoyable to watch the old Red, even though he's long <laughs> since dead. And I also got the reference in like the Star Wars special for Family Guy, where it's like Red Fox standing by. Red, <laughs> <laughs> Here come <Elizabeth. laughs> yeah, I'm coming. <laughs> Helen Reddy standing by. So, Red standing by. All right, before we get too I'm far Red off October. this tangent, <laughs> uh, what about you? Or well, here's the thing about my childhood. I don't remember a lot about my childhood like, well, when it comes to Christmas <laughs> because what, what were you saying? Oh, go ahead. Got it. All that because. <laughs> I was a kid that's like, well, I don't want too much for Christmas. I I don't really care. <laughs> like my parents, are like, well, what what do you want for Christmas? You have to have, you must want a toy. Give me a rock. <laughs> um, I want to get the I want to get back at the neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> I want to show them how to get a new window. There's my older, <laughs> older brother. See, playing warfare. Mm-hmm. Don't don't make fun of that. I actually dealt with my brother in the head with a big rock. <laughs> we were playing emergency room. I, I, I'll, I'll explain that one later. But um, that's no, a tale for another. No, time. what for, for me? I, I grew up in, in the divisional point of time when the the kids that grew up with the crappy toys. By the way, what kind of kid were you that you would use such a term like that? What in the divisional time. The visual point of time. I was that kind of yeah. kid that didn't want anything because I could figure out how to make it myself. Um, I got it. Was that like the early '90s or so? Early '90s when when the kids that grew up with like the the, the crappy toys or ones that were made out of like full on iron. Yeah. <laughs> you know, ones that were, would sink you in a pool. Um, they, they wanted. The, we called them Tonka trucks. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> Those guys wanted to make great toys for their kids, so we had like the the experimental toys. Like you had like new versions of Rock and so- Rock and Soccer robots, and you know Jurassic Park had like probably the the biggest toy influence in my life. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 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 About killed LG there, but um, <laughs> no, just I I don't remember many of the toys. Um, I I. I <laughs> <coughs> Still dying. <laughs> you right over there? Yeah. I, I would get Beast Wars and stuff Hell like that. Hell yeah. Know, the, the Transformers. Oh, Transformers, Beast Wars, yeah. And for some reason, I, I thought like the most... Oh, goodness. Yep. He's filling up again. Um, <laughs> like, I, I, I was a big fan of Beast Wars, a big fan mm-hmm. of Transformers, and so I'm like, oh, go, just give me a Transformers toy or something. Like, and my fifth grade teacher hated me. <laughs> for the fact that, well, two facts. I would correct her when she was doing stupid stuff on the computer, 
Remember, me, fifth grade, her, 40-year-old woman. Mm -hmm. Katunga can't work rock. Still useless. <laughs> why, why not rock entertain me? <coughs> rock has no processor. <laughs> um, and the other fact is, every day... Because I had a large collection of these toys. I had like, like from Beast Wars to Transformers. I had Optimus. I had Optimus I remember Primal. Seeing the big Optimus Prime. Yeah, that's the one that, that like broke the the straw that broke the camel's back. I remember, wow. I, that, that's why I always loved that toy. Because first first time like first, first day I'm like oh well here's Scorponok. <laughs> I just put it on my desk and she's like you can't have toys at school but this is a Transformer. <laughs> and she's like, what are you talking about? This challenges my mind. <laughs> what do you mean? I have to transform it. <laughs> what can you do? <laughs> and so she would take it away and give it to me at the end of class. And then she started taking it and not giving it back. Because <laughs> next day, oh, it's Scorpion again. Oh, she take it again. Oh, this means war. <laughs> so she took it. So what do I do? <laughs> I go home, grab another toy. Put it on my desk. Oh, this one's Cheetor. <laughs> I said no yeah. toys, Mike. This isn't a toy, it's a Transformer. <laughs> Challenge my mind. <laughs> Give me that. And so, after I found out that her drawer was mostly comprised of my Transformers toys, <laughs> <laughs> I will admit that they are toys now. Back then they were fun activities. <laughs> I, sure they get back at the t I asked my parents to get me <coughs> Autobot version Optimus Primal. Okay, if you've seen the third season of Beast Wars. What he, does he transform into? He has a, he's, he becomes a tank, Ooh. a gorilla, uh -huh. a robot, a plane, <laughs> and annoying to teachers. <laughs> <laughs> and annoyance to teachers. <laughs> and so, and it's a huge toy. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is massive. That's why I love it. I'm about like, the size of his foot. <laughs> Wider than my foot, That's about it. as long like as long as my like, the height of it was as tall as my foot is long. Oh wow! Okay, and for people that don't know me, that's a size twenty shoe. Look it up. Um, <laughs> he got and, big feet. And I bring my backpack to school. I'm smuggling this <laughs> robotic gorilla, <laughs> and she's I could like the day I could just feel like the the anger in the air. <laughs> As this occurred, because when the drawer is that full of toys, she can't put something that big in them. <laughs> <laughs> and what's she gonna do with it? She's gonna put it on her desk? Hypocrite! <laughs> <laughs> she senses a disturbance. So I take the toy out, <laughs> put it on my desk. <laughs> it takes maybe, I gotta remember, this is, this is fifth grade, so the desk is. The size of a, a ranch cup that yeah. you get from Little Caesars. It's so little, it, is it the one where it is like the chair and desk in one? No, it, 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 was, it was the separate. It was the, the pull-out chair. Oh, They're okay. not made for fashion. I went back there to, to visit with my teacher. I realized how how small I was. Because mm -hmm. I cannot come close to fitting in that anymore. <laughs> my foot barely fits in there, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, so I put this on there, and I just... Sit all like, happy and <laughs> cross my hands on my knee. And I'm just waiting. I'm waiting. She gets in there. Morning, clap. <laughs> Dear God, what is that? Mike? What, what is that? Like Rubik's Cube? <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> She's like, that's a transformer. I'm like... So it's not a toy. <laughs> and she's like, well, give me that. And I'm like, oh, good luck. <laughs> so she takes it. I see her try to put it in the drawer. It does not work. So she takes it, walks it back to my desk. You can have this one back. <laughs> and so the entire day I'm like, hmm. what am I supposed to do? <laughs> She just bested you at your own game. Almost. No, she didn't. Okay. What happened oh, was, I, oh, okay. I pissed her off even more. Because <laughs> she would tell me something, sit back down, read a book for her book for a moment, because, you know, this is how fifth grade teachers work most of the time. Students, time to color. Read book. <laughs> Are you coloring? <laughs> yes, Miss Smith. Good. That's true. <laughs> and they go back to it. 
She would look down, look back up. It was in another mode. <laughs> <laughs> and now she's trying to figure out how I did it with being so quiet. And she would look down. Because I had become the master of this particular one. I had spent a week just like... <laughs> you do it like blindfolded? I could. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I was that much of a dork. <laughs> and so... End of class comes up. It's in it's in tank mode, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is this I, back in the day when you had like one teacher throughout the whole day? Yes. Okay. We, remember, this is fifth grade. This isn't like uh, multiple classes or whatnot. Okay. I just had the same teacher. Mm -hmm. All right, time to go home. I remember it was 3.30... No, it's 305. 305, okay. Tank mode Optimus <laughs> on my desk, holding down my homework. <laughs> I didn't want it to fly away. <laughs> it's a paperweight. <laughs> One of my excuses, too. Um, and she's like, Mike, stay after class. <laughs> Did she say this in front of the whole class? Yes. Oh. And you hear that whole, ooh. <laughs> I get up there, and she Even takes the drawer. still have to do that. Hmm? Even in high school, the mom was like, yeah. please report to the principal's office. Ooh. Yeah, that was, that was like the day my grandpa died. Ooh. <laughs> you know what? Screw you all. <laughs> no, um, yeah, that was the best time. I call you. It's like, hey, Mike, how's it going? Oh, my grandpa dead. <laughs> my grandpa was dead. It's like, I have a horrible way of like relaying information like that. I'll just, I'll, I'll, I'll just sit there and just say it. <laughs> um, okay, but back to no, no. Yeah. <laughs> She grabs the drawer. <laughs> Because I've, I've begun to miss my collection of Transformers. Because my toy box at home was particularly barren. It had, a, it had like a bouncy ball and like three jacks. That's where I remember having a kid. I had an actual toy box. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, no, uh, she takes the drawer out, puts it on her desk. The whole drawer. Yeah, the whole drawer, which is full of my like, Transformers. Yeah. And like two other things from like the, the, the other kids. I can't remember what they had, like a, a rubber band, someone snaps someone. I don't remember. And, <laughs> and she goes, I'm going to make you a deal. <laughs> she's, she's now bartering <laughs> with, at the time, uh, a 10 year old. Because I had defeated the system <laughs> with my Optimus Prime tank mode. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, I will give you back all your Transformers toys. Action figures, toys. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't put them on your desk again, how does that sound? Me being the kid going, that sounds like a pretty good deal. <laughs> I, 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 I'm like, I agree. I'm like, uh, it felt like a mob like situation, like The Godfather. I'll make you an offer. I'll make you an offer. You can't refuse. <laughs> you can take me back. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you can take your toys back, mm -hmm. but you can't put them back on the desk. Because <laughs> if you do, okay, okay, let the guy rest down. in peace. Yeah. Back to normal voice. Marlon Brando, him <laughs> 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 uh, no, um, uh oh. And sandwich. <laughs> oh, make so, it up, you can't refuse. <laughs> And so she's like, you want to take all these back? I, I, I remember because I see Cheetor, I see yeah. Air Razor, I see the... I'm Scorponok. Like, Scorponok, which okay. is the first casualty on the bottom. <laughs> <line."> <laughs> <laughs> and so she's she's like, will you not bring him back again? I cannot make my promise. <sighs> well, what she said is, you're not going to put him back on your desk again. So I'm like, okay. <laughs> okay. I combined them I, all into one I, big I, toy. I, I, I won't. <coughs> so she dumps the toys into my backpack <laughs> and I'm like I'm the cheeriest little bastard <laughs> you get on the bus I got your toy bag back <laughs> I, could hard, I couldn't fit the Optimus back in my bag <laughs> this Optimus is apparently just not meant to fit anywhere other than the box it came in <laughs> so and what happens just because I'm the the dirty little snot that I am when I'm a kid <laughs> She walks in. I've got Optimus on the floor next to my desk. <laughs> She's like, what did I say about Transformers? Like, it's not on the desk. <laughs> After that, I stopped being such a jerk. But I'll never forget, I'll never forget it. Mrs. Dougal. <laughs> Mrs. Uh, Dougal did not like me at times. My God, if you were my student, I would be the first teacher to kill everybody. Uh, I know, I know, yeah. I know. Considering I was bigger than her. <laughs> no, no, no. You'd be no, like, no, no. I, was, I was the same height as her. Oh. No, no, no. I, I was a little bit taller. <coughs> but she was much wider than I was. Um, That's when you go, uh, so, so, have I taught you a lesson? Yeah. <laughs> but, but for for cool toys. 
Mm-hmm. Transformers back then were probably my favorite thing because you give me like a board game. That's not a toy game. It's a board game. game. Yeah. Look at this wonderful toy. Board game. Look <laughs> at this Transformer. It's a toy. Action figure. Action figure. Look at this doll. It's a doll. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a lie. <laughs> Look at this doll. Oh my gosh. Uh, oh, lights! Oh. <laughs> lights! <laughs> I think LJ asked me, like, what, where were the cool toys when I was a kid? Well, you know, I, I grew up in the in the eighties, like the, the prime time of you know, uh, of, of toys and stuff. So you had like GI Joe, and you had Transformers, Hell yeah. and the Generation One, and uh, My Little Pony. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they did. Yeah, but yeah. the awesomest toy you could probably <clears throat> ever get was the GI Joe USS Flag. This this thing was seven feet long. How would you? Get, it, it, was it just available for sale, or was it like a yeah, no, I, thing? I, I think it was available at like Toys R Us something, but of course it took up a whole freaking shelf. Seven feet long. That's six inches taller than I am. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah. I hope it was plastic. <laughs> it, 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 the thing was like. Bigger than Shaq and could probably f- shoot free throws better than him. <laughs> We're sorry, Shaq. Not, <laughs> not really. You got big feet for a white boy. Thanks, Shaq. <laughs> <laughs> that's not funny. <laughs> so, yeah, if you if you got like the USS Flag, you're you're you're, you're the, the, the bomb. Kid. Yeah. I don't even remember that. <laughs> I, I was like early '80s. Uh, it would have had to been um, uh, mid. Probably around mid '80s, so I wasn't even in existence yet. Yeah, yeah. I was born in '87. I was four years out of high school in '87. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> <laughs> but see, you know, back when I was growing up, most of the toys I got was like right after the first Star Wars came out. Mm-hmm. So you know, I got most of them. You know, now, nowadays you get the classic ones for like oh seven bucks. Huh? I paid two fifty. Yeah. Oh wait. Oh wait. As I was gonna say with like Toy Stories, not the Pixar film. Oh, please don't sue us. But when when uh, anyone who's been in the shop knows we have this collection of vintage Star Wars you toys. You look better than yeah, <laughs> back, back here, mm-hmm. and, and you know. Oh, oh Damien yes, was. I have to hear this story. D- D- Damien was here for this. Uh oh. I'm not. I'm not even to embarrass him. Just to <laughs> just to put this out there. There was there was a pretty cool moment. Because th- this guy brings in a collection, <laughs> but like I said, don't don't get embarrassed. Things happen. These are old toys. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and we had, and we had, we had, things happen. We we had two of them, so it's fine. Um, <laughs> and that you got a really great Boba Fett from him. So yes, I got, I got a, I got a vintage Boba Fett with blaster for three dollars. Yeah, that is a steal. When it comes to these things, so the the deal I'm not gonna tell you how much it was because that's kind of confidential between them. Mm-hmm. Um, but I get this collection. I've got two Vaders. I've got a Luke. I've got you know Oban Kenobi. You got you got all these different things. You got C three PO R two, and so Roy from a so Damien is there. <laughs> the, the, the <laughs> Damien, I don't blame you for being excited or happy or whatnot. <laughs> But we're 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 fiddling with the Darth Vader's. I've got I've got one here. That, yeah, you can be as dirty as you want. Um, one of them has been really well played. The other one apparently just watched the other one get played because this one did, was hardly even beat up or anything like that. We had to swap the lightsabers the to go from one side, and you know, Damien had his. What I call a Krug moment. <laughs> every every guy who experiences something new has a Krug moment. Oh, huh? uh, you, you see it and like you you fiddle with it for a second and then you see if it breaks. If it breaks, don't do that. <laughs> As a learning experience. Well, we're we're trying to switch over. <laughs> well, we, we we get it successfully switched. I remember this. It was successfully switched. Mm-hmm. Everything was fine, dandy, and da- and Damien's like, well, I wonder if you can. I hear this. <laughs> and I'm looking at the Vader I'm holding. <laughs> I have this slow turn look over at Damien, and he's just. Hmm? <laughs> well, he didn't. He didn't hide or anything like that. He he. If you know the old uh, Vader toys, like the very first, one of the first drafts, the the lightsaber extended out of the arm, so they had. Just like a little. Yeah, there's yeah. a there's a there's a little, a little tab. 
at the end of the lightsaber that you put that you slide in and out. Yeah. To to extend the lightsaber. Yeah, and it it, it goes all the way up the arm and, and you pull it back out. Mm-hmm. Or they had a little tiny uh, plastic digit you pull on to get it out there. Mm-hmm. Now there's a telescoping one that's a double telescoping version that. If he would have broke this, I would have punched him in the face. Uh, just because he should know better. <clears throat> but um, now what I find out about these little tiny things, the original ones, they really kind of define the, the value of the toy. And there's this nice little, little, little <laughs> one little snap in history, 40 bucks. Ouch. The, the value drops that much. But I had another Vader. It's already, it's, the one he had, the condition was already kind of well played. It had like a derpy head. It's like, nah, I'm the Dark Lord. And I just, no, no offense to you, Dan. What it was for me was the look on your face when that happened is what made it the most priceless and one of the funniest things out there. Just, and your face goes, <laughs> he, he has his O face and, and the most just like surprised and scared look I see it just and I'm just I remember going like reaching out grabbing the Vader go go, go, go grab C-3PO just go over there <laughs> and the reason why I bring this up <clears throat> is because it doesn't matter how much something is worth or what not just the experiences with it make it worthwhile. So I'll always look at that Vader back there. <laughs> with the busted tab going, yep, that was Damien. And like I said, I don't hold it against you whatsoever. Crap happens. It's just fun. <laughs> I'll never forget that look on your face. <laughs> <laughs> We've all had embarrassing moments. Yes. Me included. Past employees, including topless points. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he left you, he was but the nah, nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. I know what I'm going to eat for Christmas. <laughs> I, I, I want to heal your tank. <laughs> <laughs> but, Let's see what she but, but, but to clear it up, <laughs> I, I, to clear up my embarrassing part of this one a little bit, is because oh, I, I saw the, the double telescoping Vader online, I'm like, well, this could be worth a lot. Well, I, I picked them up, and they're still vintage, they're still worth a little bit. But the double telescoping one, there's only like how many made? Like what, 600? Very, very, yeah, very, very few. Yeah, and so these things are so freaking rare. I'm like, oh wow, I must have found something really, really rare. Oh. I found something rare, but not really, really rare. Mm-hmm. And so I pick it up for the, the, the amount that we have there, and Damien's looking, and I was like, well, you could probably sell like five, six bucks a piece, and you'll make <laughs> the money back. And, and I'm like, Damien, I have to be the, the proper authority here, and I have to look this up. But the double telescoping one, just to give you like a difference in price. The Vader we have in there, the, the in prime condition, looks great. No, no, it, no wear, no play things. No, someone throw it across the room because there's like a. Well, I've seen. Didn't use your hand as a screwdriver like yeah. I might have done as a. Child. <laughs> use the force. <laughs> the, the one we have in there is about 150, 160. Top, very top line, like 200. The double telescoping one, six grand. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's, that's it? it. I know. You want to look at a leap and a bound on that thing? That thing I just. Know. I want to find one of those just so I can look at it. Going, what is up with this? Yeah. Because the double telescoping one had a horrible knack of breaking and you losing the hat, like the the other end piece, and mm-hmm. just all these horrible. It's the. It's probably it's the most. Expensive. At, at that time, I I did at that be, right like right before that, I probably would have told you like the vinyl cape jaw was the most expensive toy. Yeah, I wish I would have found one of those because that thing is just brutally expensive. Mm-hmm. Like I, if I was a collector, I'm like never getting that <laughs> unless I find it at a yard sale or something. Which sometimes you can find yeah. great stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, Thrift stores too. Yeah, yeah. But let's any, any other funny toy. Stories out there like you busting a toy, or you're yeah. sitting well, busting a toy, or a, a friend that's working alongside you busts a Vader. <laughs> well, the, the thing is, like, don't like get I red said, in the face. I got a lot of the Star Wars toys, and one Christmas, my older sister got me the Droid Factory, where you can make your own little droids in that. And she got me the Luke Skywalker X Wing pilot. 
Now, <laughs> well, there's a lot. Now, you know, if I knew then what I know now, most Not of those things toy. would not have been taken out of their package. But, you know, I built a few droids, and then, um, well, let's say Luke uh, did a test pilot thing. <laughs> and because they have this little, like, crane where you hang the parts on and move them over here and drop them off in this area. Well, Luke Skywalker was hung by his foot and <laughs> <laughs> spun around <laughs> with centrifugal force. Uh, <laughs> ceiling fans and uh, other things. So it's like, Whoa! it's like, and my sister, he's not using what the toys intended it for. It's called imagination, damn it. <laughs> this is the flight simulator for the X-Wing. <laughs> you think he was just born with good pilot skills? Oh, no. <laughs> Holy crap. What? I'm looking up like classic toys, ones that uh, are, are most noble through history. Let's see here. In the 20s, a red wagon. <laughs> 30s, a Buck Rogers pistol. Me? That apparently that in the 40s, not a red Slinkies, <laughs> magic balls. Remember that Slinkies it, in the 40s? Yeah, hell yeah, they did. Oh, right right there, they it was supposed to be a World War II thing. You know, trying to make, like, the perfect spring for a war vehicle. Yeah. The 50s, Barbie and Frisbees. <laughs> That's where you Darn line up no, 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 Barbies and just took the Frisbee and whing! <laughs> In the 60s, Etch-A-Sketch, yep. Light Bright and Easy Bake Ovens. I had the Etch-A-Sketch and the Light Bright. I didn't know Light Bright was 60s. I thought that was more mm -mm. late 70s, or early 80s. No. And I was, like, five 60s. or six, and I had a Light Bright, damn it. Yeah. In the 70s, Rubik's Cube, Baby Alive, and <laughs> Nerf Balls. <laughs> Balls. In the eighties, My Little Pony, Cabbage Patch Dolls, and Transformers. Yep. In the nineties, Beanie Babies, Buzz Lightyear, and Furby. But no Elmo. Apparently not. But there's actually like full lists of like the for those in particular years. Mm -hmm. In the two thousands, Bratz Dolls, Zuzu Pets, and uh, some other mind games. <laughs> <laughs> Um, that's kind of lame. <laughs> toy fairs, like it just. I'm looking at this, going, "Holy crap!" When your first notable, like, great toy is a red wagon. <laughs> we were simpler back then. Such evolution. That's why uh, I said, you know, we had dirt. <laughs> my phone's about to die. That's why I'm all sad. But um, wow. Any, any, uh, any other uh, great toy destruction stories? <laughs> <laughs> I took, I took care of my stuff, mm -hmm. uh, so you people are on your own. I melted a Legolas. <laughs> <laughs> so, when did the Lord of the Rings films come out again? The original ones? Yeah. 2001 was, I think, the first one. Yeah. yeah. The Fellowship. I remember I torched an elf. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lighter fluid. <laughs> and boredom. <laughs> Which reminds me, when 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 is, are we going to see the destruction of Aquaman? Soon. <laughs> <laughs> New Year's. I'm Eve. gonna find out if a particular roommate's gonna leave it behind, because he might be moving out. If he doesn't get Aquaman, I'm blowing that thing to crap. <laughs> Little mustache. Like, <laughs> Boom. <laughs> now you're gonna blow it up or shoot it into space? We're gonna blow it up. <laughs> We're gonna make it experience space. Okay. From where it was <laughs> to over here, to where it is, and there, and there, and there, and there. Yeah, I'm sorry. When I got bored, there's part of Aquaman. Power Rangers. <laughs> Holy crap! That's another toy that I was notorious for destroying. <coughs> Power Rangers. Power Rangers. Okay, you remember the the Power Rangers toy? Like, wait, 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 wait. Weren't weren't the Power Rangers colored according to the race of the yeah. character or something? Did, have I covered this before? Yes, we have. But I'm we pretty skipped s over the whole the whole episode. explanation. This is a holiday special. I'm not going into racism now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just, I just, well, like, we I, I just, the holy like, Zordon. I, 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 well, I, I <laughs> oh, Do you want me to do it real quick? <coughs> sure. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> I have work in the morning. As I explained <laughs> like to a lot of people about the original Power Rangers, <laughs> but anyways, the red man, the red was a native, yellow was an Asian, black was a black guy. Green was an Irishman, <laughs> pink was a girl just for a stereotype, and blue was a man who was just notoriously feminine. Th th think think about it. Word. Think about it like this, okay? First five Rangers: red, yellow, black, pink, blue. 
nice little thing going on. Mm -hmm. Then a green one pops up, starts messing everything up. Yeah, the green one took the leadership from the red. No, hold on, hold on. Yeah. It's better. Okay. Now, when because oh. you have to realize, I never watched Power Rangers. Now the green one, okay, was the bad guy for a little bit. Okay. Okay. His name was Tommy. He came in. He had a dragon oh, sword. Yeah. He'd play a flute. <laughs> and she was dragging him out like Godzilla and just wrecked the crap out of everything. Apparently, he was strong enough to take on all the other swords at once. Mm -hmm. That's how cool this guy was. Well, what happens with the Green Ranger? That he comes in and starts messing everything up. Well, he starts becoming a a good guy slowly. Mm -hmm. Then he becomes the White Ranger. Okay. And what does he do? He kicks the Red Ranger out of the lead position. <laughs> does anyone else catch that reference? Yep. Yeah. Uh, this is my land now, boot. Now, were you, were you serious about the diff? Now, are you really serious about the different colors kind of yes. representing the, the ethnicity of the? Yes. They, they, they changed it uh, a, a few seasons in the se the second season when God, I actually I actually remember this. Lord said he was like the second big major bad guy. So, so they changed it so uh, <laughs> the, the, the different rangers weren't represented with uh, the ethnicity anymore. Uh, oh, okay. So they had like the. An Asian became the black guy. Or it became the Black Ranger. Yeah, I'll, I'll uh, never forget the editing error in the movie where the wrong Zord is circling the wrong guy. <laughs> <laughs> Even a kid, I'm like 10 years old, I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> well, still, I remember your whole rant about that. It's like, so the emergency switch is just a crotch shot in the movie. Well, that just reminded me of the classic Voltron with, with the lions, because they, they had all the different colored lions, and of course the princess gets the pink one. Yeah. Oh, uh, it was blue. It, was it blue? Her suit was pink. Her suit but was pink, but she the had lion the lion was blue. Okay. okay anyone else? Okay. I there, remember there, there's Voltron. Two, there's two types of Voltron. <clears throat> This okay. was the lie when I yeah. do not acknowledge the ones with the vehicles. Well, because you realize like there was die. actually like two different shows that they spliced together. Yeah. And just gave it the name. You know the original time. Power Rangers? The White Ranger was not even part of the original Power Rangers? Yep. They, they spliced it in from a completely different series. Oh, really? America like bought the rights and they're like... Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I, I remember watching the Voltron shows. You, you like... You, you get to the end of the robot series and be like, Meanwhile, in another part of the galaxy, here's a Voltron made out of 15 vehicles. Like, what? Yeah. Where? Yeah, it, it, that was a completely different series entirely. Yeah. It wasn't even Voltron. That was just some other com combining show. Because <coughs> um, there, there was a lot of them. What, what's, like the, what's the genre? It's not like... Sentai. Sentai, that is, right there. <laughs> Sounds that so horrible. Or, or we can just say... Uh, Actually, yes. It's more Sentai is describing the group. Yeah, the, the group Cause dynamic. Like, you know, like when they say... You know, Power Rangers is a, is a Sentai. And the, yeah, yeah, the, the group. Now was... <laughs> I, I know it's called... Uh, here in the States it was Robotech, but in there it was like... Uh, Macross? Macross? Yeah. Yeah. Now, in Ro when we got Robotech, was that just a combination of different series? Or was it the actual Macross saga? It was kind of like that, I think. Well, you got to remember, Robotech and I mean, Macross are, are two, are two different completely different. different things. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, and then Somehow they find a way to combine that crap. Together. Yeah, it, it's just... Amer you got to realize, uh, there was a dark age to anime. Censorship. <sighs> By the way, for those of you who don't know, the robot Gigantor was actually a World War II relic meant to destroy yeah, America. Okay. Yeah. And but when, we, but when they brought the anime over here to America, you realize we had to change that. Well, the funny thing is, with Gigantor, you know what annoyed the uh, piss out of me? What? In high school, I can't sleep without a TV being on or something like that, or I, I, I can. I, it would come on. It would... It, I recognize this because it came on six in the morning on Cartoon Network. Uh -huh. Gigantor. And my alarm How clock. How old is this? Series? How old? Old. Okay. This is like fifth. My day. Like like Astro Boy. Okay. Yep. This, Astro Gigantor, Boy. Astro Boy. Boy. That would have to like mark the golden age uh -huh. for manga and anime. Uh -huh. Yeah. So. <clears throat> With, with Gigantor. Today's, tour. today's society is going, well, among anime. <laughs> I'm like, we had that back then. It's hard. <laughs> I'm watching this, and you could, you could obviously see the improvement of animation from back then, because you have this, oh my god! Like a full, like, <laughs> what, what, be like no, between animation, it would just be like, figure facing one way, figure facing other way. Mm -hmm. No transition or anything like that, but yeah, realize they were probably doing it with charcoal. <laughs> you know, just like little drawings on there. Yeah. 
picture, mm-hmm. drawing, picture. <coughs> and I'm, I'm just watching Gigantor flying through the sky, and I'm, I swear I saw a swastika at some point. Because <laughs> I, I realize I'm still waking up because I have to go to school in maybe 40 minutes. Mm-hmm. And I don't know what would happen with me in Gigantor, but I would sit there and watch the entire damn thing. Even though I was pissed off at it, I would watch it. Gigantor, I think, is a mind control device. <laughs> that that uh, even to this day, even rem- remembering how it's like Gigantor, uh, <laughs> still pisses me off. But with uh, back to like the, the Power Rangers toys that we were talking about, mm-hmm. you ever see the the ones where you'd have like the transforming toy, except for it was just you, you'd have all the only thing that changed was the head. Oh, really? Go away! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, the phone's ringing, but um, it's actually kind of quiet. Who? What? I Hertz junk or Kurt's junk? <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. If they want, if they need to just leave a message. <laughs> I think um, they stopped call. I think they hung up. Yeah. No, it, it, after four rings, it takes it to our okay uh, our answering machine, but. All it would, you know, you'd have your, the, the toy, it would be, be movable, you'd have, there's a, on the belt, mm-hmm. there, there was this nice little compartment that went all the way to the chest, and there was a spring-loaded, spray. there was a spring-loaded mechanism in there, mm-hmm. where it would have a, mo- like, the first head uh-huh. would just be of, like, the, the, <coughs> the actor's face. Okay. And you'd hit the belt, and it would pop this chest and open. Oh yeah! In, in, in like the, it would flip. Yeah, in, in the most grotesquely <laughs> weirdest way, you'd, and it would pop it over, and it would be like the 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 ranger's head, like the helmet the on helmet. and all that stuff. Uh-huh. And I'm like, this is so fun! Because <laughs> you and here's how archaic this was: because you'd flip it once, and you'd click. Uh huh. Then you get it back and put it back manually. Oh. So you have to hit the thing and reload it, <laughs> and then boom, <gasps> click, <Loaded>. boom, <gasps> and, and you're looking at the, I look at this toy because I found it again. Really? <laughs> like just like uh, three months ago, mm-hmm. I'm going through my parents' stuff. I'm just like, <clears throat> oh my god, I was entertained by this. <laughs> Why didn't you just give me a rubber band and paper? <laughs> That and Pokemon was a big thing when I, when we were yeah. younger because Pokemon craze still a craze today, but mm-hmm. not as big as it was back then. I remember this was probably around probably when the first movie I like two thousand. That that's the first movie that I remember coming out. Pokemon because there was one that came out in nineteen ninety nine. Okay. And then there's Pokemon the 2000. Movie. Okay, so it's probably around 99 ish. Yeah, and I remember reading K. reading in the papers how parents wanted to ban Pokemon because they thought it was like gambling. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, in Ho- their defense. Holiday cheer here. I don't want to. Hold on just real quick. In their defense, Pokemon is kind of like Stockholm Syndrome <laughs> because you capture these creatures in the wild and then you wait till. <laughs> You gotta wait till they eventually become your friend. Uh-huh. You gotta train them. I mean, yeah. To me, you, you'll eventually like me. <laughs> to me, that's just like you know we're gonna wait for Stockholm syndrome to kick yeah. in, and it kind of reminds me of like uh, I don't know some, some kind of under secret underground <laughs> training program. We yeah. kidnap kids, brainwash them into becoming powerful fighters. You think about like some parents. They would go off the deep end when they're like, well, it's like gambling. Yeah. Oh, it's like cockfighting. It's like, you know, you're, you're having little animals, and then PETA jumps in the mix. But um, Charity cockfight at the Lightning. Yeah. <laughs> the lightning no. Comics and Games. No, stop no. it. We will no. have Rooster Gonzalez versus... No! Stop okay. it! Okay, then. Jeez. Stop it. <laughs> no, but when I was a kid, I, I have a lot of memories with Pokemon. Like, I... I first got Pokemon cards as just this little, you know, my parents like, shut up here, I have Pokemon cards. <laughs> and did you, did you play the game or just collect the cards? I just collected it. I played the video games and just collected the cards because mm. I could care, care less about, oh, look at my cards. Now yeah. here Same I'm here. a card game guy. <laughs> but <laughs> what, in sixth grade, they banned Pokemon cards from our school. Mm-hmm. You can't have them. So this led to this whole black market of Pokemon <laughs> cards. 
in our school. Like there was a kid. You'd go like <laughs> you'd be like, where? Hey man, where are get some Pokemon cards? <laughs> and they'd be like, oh, little Jimmy over there, he's got one of the, go behind the gymnasium. He's go got on. all sorts. And I remember this. A kid had a coat <laughs> oh with the gosh. Pokemon cards in the coat. Hey, I got one worse you than that. You wanna buy that. some Charizard? <laughs> I got one worse than that. Our school was strict, you know, we they banned pretty much everything. That Is this here in the States or back in Guam? In Guam. Okay. So it wasn't just, you know, Pokemon or it was pretty much all things entertaining. If it counted as a distraction, don't bring it to school. No cell phones, no nothing. But this was middle school, so mm. that was kind of understandable. There was one where it was really like a a drug deal. It's like <laughs> and it was actually out of a boy's bathroom, ironically. <laughs> it's like, okay, you, you know where this building is? Go to the farthest end boy's bathroom, knock on the third stall, <laughs> and he'll have, it's like, he'll have, you know, I actually did that once. This guy had like three binders. I was like, what? Couldn't you find someplace cleaner? I mean, think of the card. Think, think of, of the, the cards, <laughs> man. <laughs> Think of the condition of the cars. It's Wait a like, minute, did you have to go into the stall with him? No. Okay. It's just it's like some like, shop. What do it's you want? just like, you know, go What's there, the go to the last stall, do this knock. T t t <laughs> <laughs> I was like, think, back then I was like, that's, that's cool. <laughs> He's got some prime Pokemon. Back, back then I thought that was like, you know, I felt cool. It's like I'm doing all these secret spy stuff. <laughs> now Nowadays as an adult, I'm thinking the hell were we doing? yeah why were we doing that you didn't have you didn't have internet back then it's, it's, yeah you did but you yeah. didn't have well my island doesn't you know we kind of get the like porn. the leftovers <laughs> behold the power of dial up yeah <laughs> get off the internet why? I have to make a phone call. No! I'm on the phone with the president. I'm ordering your Christmas present. No, you're not. Quit lying. I am too. Get off the, the internet. I have to make a call. <laughs> <laughs> or you're on the internet. The call knocks you off the internet. <laughs> oh, I, I remember that, that war game right there. I'm playing chess online. <laughs> a Yahoo chess. Yeah, at some point this was supposed to be about Christmas. <laughs> Phone call. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, the, the family computer was a, a Christmas gift to us. Oh, okay, that's all. So that, that qualifies. Yeah. But anyway, um, let's go ahead and move away from toys. Because <laughs> we can go on for days. And uh, can we go back to zombies? Because I have a topic I've been wanting to sp sp speak about for a while. What, blasting my head off again? Okay, I have another topic. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I know what I'm doing Christmas Day. You know what you should I do? I am getting on the internet and I am blowing Damien's head off. You know what you should do? Just to really insult him? Find a way we can encase him in carbonite or something. <laughs> find a zombie with an extendable lightsaber in the arm. <laughs> and then <tip>. break it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, no, um... You have a subject on zombies, like holiday zombies, or, or just zombies like in general. Oh, because actually, one more thing. Oh, you need fast food. This one made you proud. At one point, I actually owned the toy Slave One. Sweet. But that was at one point. Okay, now okay. move on. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's in the Pacific Ocean. Anyway, um, I don't know where it is. <laughs> now with all, the, with all the like zombie movies and, and books and video games, I personally have never seen or heard or read of a conjoined twin or Siamese twin zombie. Has what? anybody else... As LG goes through his entire database of like zombies that he's seen, because I don't think have... there's a zombie film that's been made that he has not seen. Let's see. We have the running zombie, the crawling zombie, the walk, you know, usual walkers. Uh, <laughs> they had a pregnant zombie once. That was <laughs> freaky. Yeah. yeah, that was in the uh, Dawn of the Dead remake, I think yeah, they had. Dawn of the Dead remake. Uh, or, or, or she gave birth zombie. to a zombie or something like that. A baby zombie yeah, or something. Yeah, well, she was pregnant. She turned into a zombie, and apparently the disease transferred to the baby, baby. So Yeah. She became a zombie, gave birth to a zombie. Yeah. They put both of them down. It was very sad. <coughs> hmm. And the father, you know, started shooting everyone out of grief. But anyways. And, of course, there's the trauma <laughs> film Pot Zombies. <laughs> Uh, so, so there's the prostitute yeah. zombie. We still need a like, wheelchair zombie. <laughs> a, a conjoined twin zombie. 
Yeah. So if one gets bit, that is pretty much You're the done. end for both of them. I would, well, well, think about it. It's like the ultimate risk and reward. You have twice the attacking capability, that yeah. twice the defending capability, but... Four times less the amount of defense. Yeah. It's like you're like the great berserker, but you get hit once, it's a gradius ship. You're done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you're but see, then if one side turns, wouldn't it eat the other side? I don't know. <laughs> would it transfer? Would it... Would it because be- there's... there's I, I actually looked this up because there's... <laughs> because... <laughs> There's like a discussion or forum on No, this? I, I was I was looking up conjoined... Once again, was, a reminder, this is our holiday show. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah. I, was, I was looking up conjoined twins, and there, there are like levels. Because there's, the, there's like, if you've ever seen the movie uh, there, there's just, Suck on You with Matt, with Matt Damon. Th- there's oh, there's bone I, fused, I, I, yeah. there's I, 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 just flesh you. fused, there's uh, organ fused, yeah. you've got... Because they're like at the low end is the ones where they could be is like usually like a like a flap of skin maybe like share a few blood vessels or something and they could be easily separated and then it goes to the extreme where they're conjoined like at the skull or have major organs and if they have to separate them usually one, one of die. them will die so like. But basically, I think even even at the less extreme ones, I think they still do share uh, a a blood, a, blood, a blood vessels or something. So I would <laughs> I would think if one gets bitten, I think the other one would would turn as well. The transference in itself. Yeah, George J. Romero, get to work on this. <laughs> but, <laughs> but here's and spoiler alert for so no one who's watched the Walking Dead series or read the books. That's it. That's the only series I'm aware of where you don't have to be bitten in, t- in order to turn into zombie. If, in, le- in, in the unless you like die it, of massive head trauma, if yeah, you, you're not you, killed, you will right? become a zombie anyway. Yeah. yeah, because in Walking Dead, you're. It depends on if you like read the books to the <clears> TV shows. Like, well, you're already infected. You've yeah. al- you will always be infected, mm-hmm. but when you die, you're gonna come back. Right. Um, which but I, in every uh, but in every other like. Movie or literature I've read, like you have to be bitten or something. Is it, is it transference type? Yeah, yeah, because it, it's a it's an infection that's yep. through the blood. That's why they you get bitten. Oh no, he's a goner and, and walking dead. That's usually the reason why it's st- it spreads so fast because of bites and saliva mm-hmm. and infection. Thank you, Smurfs. <laughs> no, not kidding. The first. Smurfs did it first. Yep. Yeah. Purple Smurfs, my ass. <laughs> well, actually, they were originally black, but you know, because of <laughs> certain topics, we had yeah. to change them to purple. Yeah, because everyone's all sensitive and. <laughs> that's, my, that, that's my official whiny sound. <laughs> <laughs> like like a very feminine R two. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, R two R two K T. Q T. What? Is that the pink one? Yes. Yeah. Okay. The, the, one, the one they made for like uh, breast cancer awareness. Um, it was actually named after the the founder of the five hundred first legion. His uh, after his daughter because oh, okay. she was uh, uh, had a, a terminal disease or something. Yeah, which is really cool because they actually featured that in the Clone Wars mm-hmm. cartoon. Um, uh, yeah, it's a three D render, but still, I don't yeah. care. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna call it a what cartoon. What did they give that one? Because I remember that episode. They, they like outfitted it with something else, and they yeah, like, they gave her like a, a super magnet or something. Did, did that one end up getting pasted later or something? No, or? that was the green one. The one oh. with the like, I don't know how to draw that head. <laughs> like the, a conical the, shape. Yeah, yeah there yeah. we go. The only reason why I know is because I woke up and it was on Cartoon Network. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, I, that's how I watch primarily Cartoon Network. Because I wake up. Yeah, I watch Adult Swim like uh, it was Toonami. You know, just because hell, Toonami's awesome. Do you think we have time to like talk about our favorite Christmas shows or? You know what? It, it, it's it's a Christmas special. We're approaching the two hour mark. Forget the time. We, we, we've we've talked about toys. A lot of toys. A lot of toys and a lot of me. Pissing off my fifth grade teacher. <laughs> um, Don't forget the fence. <laughs> and the fence. The fence was brought the in. Death of the Why fence. was the fence brought into this? Because um, I'm a blowhard. But um, <laughs> oh, because you're, you're talking about uh, you came down. De- you, it was all decorated, and, and then someone brought up the fence, and I started talking, and someone didn't yeah. shut me up. Um, you know what? We can do a two and a half. I don't care. It's a Christmas special. If if people want to, if you guys want to sit here and talk about it. Fine by me. We also did have to, you know, wish Lou a happy trip back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the missus doesn't go to work tonight, so. <laughs> yeah, so, and it's 
Yeah, it's almost 8.30, our time, your time, we don't care. Um, <laughs> your time is whatever region you're in. There you go. And that's what time it is. <laughs> there you are. All 17 viewers. Yeah, that's all the more reason why the Mayan thing didn't work out. <laughs> it was a jello pudding. Jello the world puddings. will end 2012, 12, 21, 12. <laughs> You know that two days exist simultaneously on this earth at the same time. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> well, just a real quick thing on that. My brother had to bring that up. I was like, well, good thing Guam's a day ahead. Then he's like, you jerk. <laughs> <laughs> That's the end of the world, man. <laughs> so, yeah, let's go ahead and cover yeah. some of our favorite holiday specials. I'm going to shut up for a little bit. I'm going to let you guys do this because, I'm, like I said, I'm a blowhard, apparently. Mm. I'm, I'm almost as bad as Andy the Avengers special. <laughs> oh. So what did you think of the Avengers? Well, that's great. So anyway. This is yeah. uh, <laughs> Love you, Andy. Not really. Um, so let's, let's start it out. Ace. Well, the man who's lived past more Christmas specials oh, than good any God. of us can I, even imagine. I'm as old as most Christmas specials. He, he really is the ghost of Christmas uh, specials. Yes, Same yes. I, I am as old as a Charlie Brown Christmas that wow. came out in 1965. I'm a year younger than How the Grinch Stole Christmas. They came out in 1964. <laughs> but, it, you know, it's it's yeah, going through the holidays, no matter how old you are or where you came from, you know it's not Christmas until you've heard Burl Ives. <laughs> it's that simple. And, I, you know, I tortured our uh, gamers today with the Charlie Brown Christmas. Well, that, that's, that's one of the good ones, but then I, you know, tortured him with Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Did that one count as claymation or something else? Stop motion. Stop, Stop motion. motion. Stop uh, motion. Uh, it was uh, what uh, Rankin Bass t uh, did, uh, came up with the term of Annie Magic. Is what they call it. They refer to it that in their uh, feature-length uh, Mad Monster Party. But um, shoot, gosh, I have seen everything. I have, I, you know, seen from Charlie Brown Christmas to Christmas Comes to Pacland. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the Pac-Man cartoon. Oh my Christmas God! I remember special. that. Yes, there uh, was a Pac-Man yes, cartoon. And there was the, a lot of shame with <laughs> the Miss Pac-Man and Baby Pac and uh, uh, the dog and the cat Puss Puss. <laughs> I well, that I honest to God, that was the cat's name. Um, <laughs> okay, well, just pick like your oh, most favorite good one. Good God! Well, you know, I can't go through a Christmas, and uh, I spent most of the day yesterday watching everything from uh, Rudolph the Rainbow's Reindeer and uh, the Island of Misfit Toys to uh, Year Without a Santa Claus, and then I flipped over to Cartoon Network. It's like, hot damn! How the Grinch Stole Christmas, the original. <laughs> <laughs> Half hour animated one, voiced by Boris Karloff, came on. I'm like, yeah, now it's Christmas. Mm -hmm. Now it's Christmas because, uh, you know, the, the fact that not only did he narrate it, but he was the voice of the Grinch. But you also had a commercial icon saying, the, you're the mean one, Mr. Grinch. Thorough Ravenscroft, if anybody had, gets a trivia game and that comes up. <laughs> you're a mean one. Yes. Mr. That, Mr. Grinch. that was the original voice of Tony the Tiger. They're great. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> They're food. <laughs> They're great. Get out of here. You're great. <laughs> but you know, there's that one, and then another one of my favorites is uh, Year Without a Santa Claus, because you have the Miser Brothers, Snow Miser and Heat Miser, and they have that oh, oh, musical oh, number. Christmas. Exactly. I'm sing, Mr. everyone, Star sing. <laughs> I'm Mr. Death. I. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only one I remember. I don't remember the. There was one long ago because uh, uh, when I used to do Rocky Horror, we usually had like a our Christmas show. But we, my wife and I, never got around to making the costumes because for that Christmas show, I was going to be Snow Miser and she was going to be Heat Miser. Because I was going to, you know, put her hair up and the, put all the sparkly lights for Heat Miser, and I had like these blue sparkly gloves for Snow Miser. <laughs> ah, what was his one? I'm Mr. Heat Christmas. I'm Mr. I'm Green Christmas. I'm Mr. Sun. He's like, I'm 100 and... Mr. Heat Blister. I'm Mr. 101. Yep. <laughs> hey, guys. It's snowing. Well... <laughs> Because I know we're used to it. <laughs> yeah. It's a white Christmas after all. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm sorry. I, that's why you don't see Franklin anymore on the peanuts. <laughs> it's a white Christmas after all. Oh. 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 
started it. I just, <laughs> I, I, just, just I just colored down, in bro. the blanks. Jeez. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I'm leaving that in. <laughs> People know you're a racist. Uh, I'm not a racist. I treat everybody equally. Uh, <laughs> but I'm not oh, a racist. Jesus. I don't watch those um, things. Jesus wasn't born on the 25th. Oh. Up yours. What? Just shush. <laughs> See, no, he's, he's going with the religious aspect of it. Don't. Yeah, you know, the, the, only, the only thing they don't have is like, uh, you know, I've never seen produced yet is a Wiccan holiday special. For, yeah. I'll get to work on it. <laughs> no, he's gonna look for it. There. Turf <laughs> under Wiccan. <laughs> we, need, we need a whole trials now. <laughs> they ended those, but uh, uh, th those are my two top uh, favorite Christmas specials. You can have a tarot Christmas special. Yes. <laughs> oh, that would have to be. Who that wouldn't would, want one? <sighs> or or they keep the keep the jingle bells. <laughs> Well, it's a rather cold uh, solstice evening in in the Witch's Cove. Ching, 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 <laughs> that that one would have to end up on either HBO or Cinemax. Cinemax. Dashing through the snow, hello, a pair of broken skis. <laughs> Over the hills we go, <laughs> smashing into trees. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. Uh, oh my gosh, so Damien, well, well, done. So you covered your yeah. Your, I, I um, covered so, uh, pay oh attention, gosh. Mike. I was doing other things. I've seen the, I've seen the Mike. best of the Christmas shows and the worst. Yeah. Growing, growing up in the growing up in the eighties, I saw a lot of oh, God, that's weird really ones. Bad. Like the like, I'm pretty sure there's a California raisins. Yep, yep. Christmas, yep, yep. The, the the California raisins. It was, it was like a will a will. Uh, oh, what do they call that? A claymation Christmas. Yeah, done by uh, Will something or other. And of course, they had the. California raisins and yeah. they they did their version of Rudolph and one grabs the other one's nose and turns it red for some mm. reason. That's that's the drunk raisin. <laughs> yeah. Let's let him lead the sled. <laughs> so I really around I, the, around the eighties and uh, late eighties. That's when they also did the He Man She Ra Christmas special. Okay, let that's Damien talk. Well, I, but I well, actually, I, I really. Um, other than like the California raisins ones, I really, I really don't remember a lot of the, a lot of the Christmas specials. I'm probably sure. I, what? We're waiting for you to mention the most, the, the most notorious Christmas. That was special. a holiday special. <laughs> <laughs> you should have been here last Sunday. What is this special that we're doing right now? <laughs> it, it, it wasn't. It, it wasn't Christmas. It was Wookie Life Day. <laughs> oh my gosh! I think. Yeah. Anyway, it was Life Day, but still, it was a holiday special. Mm -hmm. You are not immune to this. I don't care how much Samuel Jackson you pump into it. You're not getting out of this. Cover how crappy this was. Okay. No. <laughs> First of all, imagine. Um, B. Arthur <laughs> <laughs> being an intergalactic uh, bartender. Um, <sighs> Carrie Fisher stoned trying to sing. <laughs> Let's see yeah. what I got her to do the roll phone dive. You want to use my iPod? Although, got to give got to give the credit. First appearance of Boba Fett. That's, that's the only redeeming that's, that's quality. True. Yeah, the other, the other, so unless an Empire Strikes Back. No, no, the first appearance of Boba Fett was in the the Star Wars Holiday Special. It was actually an uh, animated segment. Yeah, oh, no, where an, I couldn't I couldn't tell was he a good guy or a bad guy. He was he was still one. a bad guy. Yeah, oh, he, he had was a, a double crosser kind of thing. Yeah. yeah, he had his moment where he he ended up just rocketing out of the ship in the most we'll dumb meet again bull, sometime. Rocking a bullwinkle poof of smoke <laughs> <laughs> in your life. So, by the way, I hate Chewbacca's family. Did you pick a best that you liked the most, or? So that would fall under his worst, and that's. That's uh, everyone's. <laughs> not everyone's worst. I mean, there's worse ones than that, but yeah. that would um, be really, really life day. How stoned can you get and watch <laughs> people dance? <laughs> yeah, I bet, uh, you, I bet you really. I'm a perverted wookie grandpa. <laughs> 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 you know, I I really don't have a. a a best one. I I I just really never um, got into the Christmas specials. So, um, but uh, I'll go ahead and pass it on to to Mike. Okay. Um, well, 
Wow. <laughs> It's hard for me to always choose like the best and the worst of things because I, I look at things from different aspects. You, you all know this as an editor and all that stuff. And when you look at the old stuff, I, I can't judge it from an editor's point of view because you have old film, film grain and stuff like that. Um, I, I do enjoy the original Grinch, um, you know, Christmas Carol, stuff like that. They've had so many versions. Here's this dead horse. <laughs> <laughs> Another Christmas Carol. <laughs> Another Christmas Carol. <laughs> and. I still like the idea behind it. I mean, heck, that our, our primary focus of the introduction was the storyline there. Mm -hmm. um, for for worst specials, I, I can't say a single <coughs> one off of its own, like Christmas special. I'm talking like um, any 90s sitcom Christmas slash holiday slash Hanukkah slash oh, whatever special they would do. Happy oh, Christmas, uh. Hanukkah Kwanzaa. Chris Kwanzaa. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> and Chris Kwanzaa's Holsika. Yeah. I, I don't care who you are, <laughs> like in the 90s, if you uh, wanted to make a Christmas really special, it. it always alluded to how oh, Santa God. Claus was real, and they would always have a moment where someone would look up in the sky. Yeah. And you'd hear the sleigh bells. <laughs> And like, oh my God, he's real! Then all of a sudden, you see this like red flash, and then and then and then there's a jetliner, <laughs> and there's no more Santa. Uh. <laughs> but it's like, what's that whistling sound? <laughs> and I, I could never watch those. That'll teach them to use like, Rudolph like, again. Like today, even today, there's an example: the the Johnny Test Christmas special that they did. Oh, oh, yeah. Exactly my point. I'm watching this. It's about a snowball machine and. You have this. You have like the the Salvation Army guys. Like it's good to give to the poor during Christmas. <laughs> and they're like, no, we want to get this. And at the end, you like they have this, the snowball making machine is sold out, and Johnny has this change of heart and he's like, we're gonna take all the money we saved it for this, and we're gonna give it to charity. And you know, so and the guy who's part of the Salvation Army there supposedly <coughs> looks like Santa Claus. Oh, of course. Uh, of course. And so in the morning they wake up and everyone's all happy. The girls get plutonium, and yes, yes plutonium—the gift that keeps on giving. The, the, the dog gets bacon, and it's Johnny. Bacon. Gets, yeah. <laughs> and and who, who voiced the first dog for those commercials? It's uh, Gilbert Gottfried. Nope. No. Oh. Ooh. I come on. I James Earl Jones. No. <laughs> <laughs> Samuel <It's> Jackson. <laughs> More camel? Bacon. John Candy. Oh. You didn't know that? No, I didn't know, no, that. I didn't know that either. I realized it from the... When I was a kid, I'm like, that's John Candy! Why am I watching this? Because <laughs> no, like, the dog is funny. What's in the bag? I can't read! That's John Candy. <laughs> Holy crap. Um, no, the, the funny thing about that, the, the special with Johnny Test is sitting here, he's like, wow, how did I get this? Because he gets this, this toy that's sold out. Mm -hmm. And so he's like, well, I don't know. Ho, ho, ho. And it shows the guy, you're like... Still like playing with the other people, you know, for the Salvation Army or mm -hmm. whatnot. And yeah, you know, I'm up for the charity for this, but when you've got the a lot of the kids' cartoons these days just suck. Yeah, but it, it's the it's a, they suffer from the cookie cutter thing. It's like okay, yeah. it's been done before. Yeah. Hell well, well, I, I hate to put it like this, but when it comes to like Christmas spirit. There's really not a lot you can expand on. Why? Because everyone knows who Santa Claus is. Mm -hmm. you know? Do you believe? Do you not believe? Are you? That's, are that's you what I'm saying. There should be, <laughs> there should, there should be ah, one that talks about solstice. solstice. Well, yeah. Well, there, you know, it's going to happen because once a major group gets behind that project, it's going to happen. It doesn't yeah. matter. Um, but for for like favorite storytelling stuff like that, uh, definitely it has to go to like. Stuff like the Christmas Carol and the Grinch, like the originals, the ones mm -hmm. that, the ones that you know they they spent a lot of time on, put a lot of love into it, and then you got the ones now that nowadays just crank, yeah. crank, yep, crank. Uh, let's, bring, let's bring back a classic. How do we do that? CGI. Okay. Yeah. Now, if if I'm uh, add something, uh, I'm a big fan of a website called the Agony Booth, which uh, I've hardly been there. <laughs> Hardly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sensing your sarcasm. <laughs> <laughs> no, what are you talking about, yes. Wink Wink? Yeah. <laughs> but sarcasm. anyway, for, for our viewers out there, if you've never been there, go to, go to uh, Agony shameless Booth. Plug, shameless plug. He's not a part of it. It's not a plug. It's just advertising. Go to agonybooth.com <laughs> because, because lately, they've been, they've been, uh, a lot of the reviewers there have been putting on reviews of all like the 
weird Christmas specials you may have forgotten about, like the like the straight to video Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah, yeah. Christmas they special. Had one? Yes, they did. Yes, nineteen ninety four. Wow. I owned it. <laughs> I, I probably did too because I had a lot of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. But videos. the but the one that I I watched and it's like that was I found like incredibly weird was the Elf Christmas special because you had. You had Cleavon Little from Blazing Saddles playing a man who's basically suicidal. You have Alf going to a children's hospital and meeting a little girl who want, who's, who's dying. And it's like, yeah. this is the stuff you want in your Christmas special? <laughs> All I want is Lucky under the tree with a nice big red bow. Ha! Uh. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> We're going to get sued, aren't we? I feel so bad because I don't like Alf. Yeah. The cartoon was better. Uh, I, they had a cartoon. Uh, yes. Oh, had a better theme song too. Because I, I remember, I remember it was the Bill based and on Ted. Mel Mac, that's why. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I remember the Bill and Ted uh, cartoon, but I never, I don't remember the Alf cartoon. Huh. Yep. There was even a Rambo cartoon. Yep. Yeah. <coughs> uh, no, but <coughs> when it comes to, to like Christmas theme or mm -hmm. all stuff like that, I still have to. There's one I'm, I'm <coughs> uh, other than LG coughing. Sorry. Um, hey, God forbid we check if I'm okay. Just, you okay, LG? Just yeah, I'm okay. slowly let it go. <laughs> just no. slowly and quietly die. Kiss my ass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Happy holidays. I should, yeah. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I still have to give a mention to like Rise of the Guardians and stuff like that because it actually is a really good. So that's, a, that's a modern good theme. Is that to, do they? That's, that's where they combine all the like the myth, uh, yeah. the legendary. Uh, yeah, like e Easter Bunny and uh, yeah. Tooth Fairy. And yeah, it's actually really well done. Uh oh, girls. <laughs> <laughs> uh, turn them up. Couldn't hear him. No, um, he got his Christmas goose early. Uh, ooh. Whoa. <laughs> Honk. <laughs> <laughs> so, if, if you really want a good holiday time, go see that movie. Go mm -hmm. take your kids to yeah. it. I mean, jeez, oh, okay. it's, it's... Yeah, because when I was growing up, we had Santa Claus, the movie. Oh. The, like with Tim Allen? No, no, that no Santa no, Claus, the movie with John Lithgow. Oh, and okay, I know, I know what you're talking about, yeah. I don't know this, but I, let's move on anyways. No, we're moving on. Yeah, we got to get LG up here. <sighs> yep. Here's your pedestal. <laughs> 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 Poor pedestal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, what happens to be your favorite and your least favorite? All right, I just want to hear the clock tick. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Well, pretty I'm much. Power. Oh, sorry. Pretty much since I chose the theme, any version of a Christmas Carol I have always enjoyed. I just love that story to death. I mean, well, <laughs> never mind. Uh, <laughs> future. I'm watching now for you. <laughs> uh, but I think my utmost favorite one would have to be the one with, I think it had Patrick Stewart in it. Oh. Yeah, that version. Yeah. Yep. And That's he, one of the versions I haven't seen. Well, it was really awesome. I mean, for live action, uh, they did pretty good in that one. Uh, I don't remember all the other characters, but <laughs> the story was awesome. Uh, I think I loved how they... Try and keep it to the book where if some of you watch like every other a Christmas Carol, they always seem to leave out like one or two things. This one had a where he meets the ghost of Christmas present. Mm -hmm. This one got a little more, you know, from the book, the really detailed one. Because there's one where in this scene, it's a, he notices something under yeah. the ghost of Christmas presents Rope. ropes. He pulls them away, and you see these two children clinging to him. Mm -hmm. One of them, I forgot their names. It was, it was want, want and ignorance. There we go. Which they one actually, was ignorance? They actually ignorance they, was the girl. No, want was the want boy. Was right? the girl? Oh, never. Ignorance oh. was the boy. Okay. Then. And they, in the uh, latest one that they came up with, the Disney's version, where Jim Carrey takes on most of the roles, they actually touched on that part. Hmm. And in that in that sequence. Uh, Want and uh, ignorance, you know, grow up before Scrooge's eyes, and like, uh, uh, 
ignorance turns into like a petty thief, you know, these different types of the, the foul element, and yet want does as well, you know, kind of a lustful creature, and then because she's so lustful, the next thing you see, you're in a straight jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Oh and yeah, that I looked during up like the last the, the, as the clock's ticking off and the ghost of Christmas present his time is up and he's starting to age. I think I remember so even I'm borrowing uh, that one to you so you can cuz that's actually well done yeah. even though it's Jim Carrey heavy like Polar Express is Tom Hanks heavy. Mind that. <laughs> uh, Tom Hanks is badass. Well, I didn't enjoy the Disney's version. Their newest one. Uh, I remember they had a a Christmas Carol with uh, Mickey Mouse in it. Yes. Mickey Mouse was Cratchit. Uh, Scrooge McDuck. Scrooge. Did I say his name right? Yeah, yeah. Scrooge McDuck. Yeah. He was a, he was Scrooge, of course. Mm-hmm. They like uh, I forgot who. Marley who, was Goofy because they they actually had this on <laughs> yeah. uh, ABC Family yesterday. Uh, I remember uh, that it was. And my, uh, wife, my wife actually picked up that she found it on DVD and got it for the kids. Oh, I have uh, to borrow that from you then. Uh, <laughs> what, what's we call it? Uh, Internet. That's it. Ghost of Christmas Past was Jiminy Cricket. Yep, and then the giant. The giant. One of their uh, fairy the, the tales. Giant from uh, Mickey and the Beanstalk was the Ghost of Christmas Present. He ta- he ta- he takes a street light, turns it into a flashlight, and is lifting roofs off of houses and checking. <laughs> then you hear like the lady scream. <laughs> yep, and then uh, uh, Pete, Pete was, was future, future yeah. and he was <laughs> just badass. But yeah, that's he was, when he, was a, when he was a, considered a, one of the major Disney bad guys to the regular Mickey Mouse and Goofy and all of them. Not not according to Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, where he's a good guy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> kind of thing. But if I had to put in a category, the the ones I liked as a kid were A Christmas Carol with uh, Mickey Mouse in it, and they had a Muppet Christmas Carol. Yep. Totally. Uh, I with, enjoyed that one, too. With Michael Caine as Scrooge. But then, as I grew up, I, you know, enjoyed the real, you know, the live-action ones. The one with Patrick Stewart I watched a little later, and mm. I enjoyed that one. But the one uh, Christmas... Mm special I enjoyed the most was the one I borrowed from you, the animated... The, the Life and Adventures of Santa Claus. Yep. <laughs> where it tells him... Uh, uh, not, not the one from Rankin Bass where he was a foundling in the woods. He was actually found by the fairy folk and the, the, the creatures of the wood yeah. and raised by them. I've seen that. You can borrow that one too. It was, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll work my way up to it. Because okay. in that problem. one, it's pretty much they describe it, it's how he becomes Jungle Book Santa Because he's raised yeah. raised by uh, a lion. I want to be like you. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's raised. I want to walk like you. Talk <laughs> like you. I'm the king of the well, stringers. This one is jungle. like a uh, <laughs> little Louis Primo. I want to teach you how to you. <laughs> <laughs> are, we, are we done? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Well, and this one I enjoyed the most because uh, <laughs> I'm poor. never going to get this, aren't I? Welcome to the support out. group. Yeah. We are the Life and Cast. Life of Santa Claus, raised by Fiegra the Mountain. <laughs> LCA, <laughs> Life and yeah. Comics Anonymous. In the Valley oh of Ho Ha Ho. Yeah, that was... <laughs> no, that's, uh, that's in the story. Yeah. Well, I, I, the way I liked it was... It was uh, based on something that was um, written by... Uh, Mark Twain under Clemens Moore. Now that I don't know. I, sh- I think it was. <laughs> but I enjoyed the story because it's basically uh, adding more of the fantasy element to it. Because mm-hmm. in this one, you got the immortals, which, you know, fairies, nooks, which we all would say are the elves or whatever. Mm-hmm. You got Ak, the woodsman. <laughs> yes. Which, the great Ak. Uh, I don't know, think like Santa Claus with wings. <laughs> That's what he reminds me <laughs> yeah. of. And it's talking about like how the immortals are always on the outside looking in, because you know they see the suffering of mankind, but it's their laws. We don't, we yeah. don't interact with them. We don't affect their world. Mm-hmm. But uh, it all changes where Act discovers a uh, you know a child in the woods. A child in the woods. He's like, I can't take you home with me, so I'm just gonna give you to this mountain lion. <laughs> and I, but I have control over the mountain lion, so she won't eat you. <laughs> I, I pretty much remember that. It's like, uh, you will care for take care of him. Young. Yeah, yeah it's one of your young. It's like, and please, no matter what, try and find food elsewhere. 
this is not food. <laughs> and then he's so like, eat. <laughs> and he like gives this warning to all the other creatures of the forest. Do not touch this baby or I will. B or you're going down. <laughs> but it gets to where uh, one of uh, Axe's uh, subordinates, the fairy, what was her? Lucinda or what? Lucille. Lucille. Pretty much. It's like, like the, I've always, the same mother. Yeah. I've always wanted to know what it's like to have a child. So she goes out, takes the baby, brings it back into the immortal's realm. Pretty much goes up to the lion. Hercules. No, um. <laughs> the lion's about ready to swipe at her. And then it just goes on from there. You see, uh, you know, he's the only human among the immortals. He's, you see him growing up. He's learning their ways. Then they just like, you know, ever so slightly make him get in touch with his human roots. You know, he goes out, he sees the suffering, and he's like wondering, what can I do? How can I help my people? And then it builds on to it, you know, like how he, how he makes the first toy, how he mm -hmm. becomes, you know, the saint that helps these people. <laughs> And it go, goes on through, you know, his entire life. He he just makes the trek, you know, and the, the main bad guys are these rock dudes. The Agawas. The Agawas. <laughs> we don't like this child, the, this child of birth. They're these dumb rock creatures that just... And they would, you know, take harm enjoyment. him, steal his toys. You know? Well, they take enjoyment in, you know, So, so this is, like, just purely animated, or is it, like, claymation style? Well, they, they did one Too that was... Purely animated, and then Rankin Bass did one <coughs> that was the stop motion. Like yeah, Rudolph that one came that, earlier, of course. And that one wasn't that well done. Yeah, it was subpar to the uh, one uh, LG is talking about. But it, yeah, it goes on. There's one point where we see how Santa Claus lasts through the ages because Santa Claus, of course, he gets old, and as he's on his deathbed, you got At going t talking to all the other mortals. It's like, why don't we give him immortality? You know, all the other immortals are like, why should we? It's our greatest gift. You would give it on this one, human? Axe giving this whole story. He has done so much in the world that we could not. He's given them hope, happiness. The immortals like argue. It's like, many humans are good. What makes this one special? But eventually, they give him the you they know They bestow the, the mantle gift. of immortality on him. And, you know, it ends with uh, Santa Claus still delivering presents, everything. But it gives a nice, uh, you know, <coughs> fantasy aspect as to, you know, the how the reindeer came about, how he started delivering gifts, <coughs> how pretty much like the one thing I like was Christmas was an agreement. <laughs> it's like, uh, you know, because it was like the whole thing with the reindeer. It's like you can only use my reindeer, but they have to be back by six a.m. Yeah. or else <laughs> they cannot be seen. Yep. And it was like, okay, if you want to use these reindeer, you can only use them once a year. <laughs> How about the twenty-fifth? <25th? laughs> I was like, oh, 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 a little oh, bit, oh. a little bit, you know, stretched, <laughs> you know, shoved in there, but it was, <laughs> oh God, it was pretty it was good. Awesome. Well done. I actually introduced my wife to that one. She had never seen it. Well, yeah. you, you speaking of uh, Christmas Carol, reminding me of the uh, awesome 1980s movie Scrooged with Bill Murray. I have that one as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that that now, now, for you who may not have. But for you who may have not seen this, like, Bill Murray's this uh, ad executive, ad advertising executive who's putting on a. He's putting on a uh, live trip, on uh, Christmas Eve. Yeah, like a Christmas special with with Mary Lou Retton and with Tiny Tim. Yeah, because <laughs> her her big finale is gonna she's gonna throw away the crutches and do a I don't know like a triple a, a triple somersault catapult yeah. and God bless us everyone and you know a, a huge celebrities and all this yeah. and then he's basically shown through high tech how his life is screwed up. Yeah, he's he's visited by like his his former boss. His uh, mentor, who's yeah, like a good yeah. undead golfer. Yeah, he's like. Well, what's funny was when he when he shows up, uh, he uh, shoots him like a bunch of times, and so he's taking a drink of of uh, alcohol, and it's like all pouring out of him. Oh, that classic joke. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he's. I think the group. I think it was the Ghost of Christmas Past. Was I? I can't remember his real name, but he's most famous as 
at, by his uh, singing name is Buster Poindexter. He did the hot, hot, hot song. Feeling hot, hot, hot. hot. Yeah, it's the same guy. I don't know that guy. Uh, Oh, Carol Kane was... Ghost of Christmas present. Ghost of Christmas present. And kept beating him up. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, look, Francis, what the head? That toaster! (laughs) He hit him upside the head with it. Yeah. And then, like, the Ghost of Christmas future is, like, the high technology, and it's all video screens. And mm. But he, uh. he opens up the robe, and, you know, the face is a video screen, but he's got these little deformed creatures. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so, Maybe you should see a doctor and get that fixed. Um, yeah. <laughs> kind of thing. Yeah, so that just, I just remembered that one. Yeah, there's, there's been several different versions. Yeah. Uh, the only one I've seen out of order was actually on last night, Mr. Magoo's Christmas Carol. Yeah. Because he... he Starts off being uh, shown stuff like the ghost of Christmas present, then it goes to Christmas past, then it goes to Christmas future. Oh. <laughs> and the, the way and, uh, Channel 5 showed it last night, it was all hacked up. Uh, and, you know, they cut out some musical numbers because uh, when it was originally broadcast, it was made to look like Mr. Goo was, Mr. Magoo was putting on a, you know, a, a play of mm-hmm. a Christmas carol. Oh, okay. And then you got involved inside the story in that, but it was just... They, like, really chopped messed, it up in yeah, editing. Yeah, it, it was messed up. <laughs> Welcome to the bane of my existence. Crap editing. editing. Nah. Yeah. Look, it's uh, anime. Oh, the 90s anime? Crap editing. <laughs> <laughs> Crap anime. Is that, is that where we got Naruto saying, believe it? <laughs> <laughs> no, that was just bad corporate decisions. <laughs> <laughs> He says Dr. B.O. after everything. What does that mean? Nothing. Let's put something else there. Like what? Like, believe it. Yeah. I'm going to be Hokage. Believe it. I like ramen. Believe it. I hate you. Believe it. <laughs> Watch the edited version. Like, the uh, actual, like, un- uh, the unedited version that you play on Toonami. Uh, How many times do you say believe it? I don't know. They they should have had a count. The only, the only thing that gave me a... Like, uh, insight as to how many times he says it. My friends made a drinking game out of that. <laughs> My friend Jan. And one of them nearly ended up in the hospital. A, a 40? <laughs> uh, but, yeah, third episode. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 second episode. Okay. <laughs> Go on. Wow. It was bone dry. <laughs> no, but in the uh, unedited version, they went back and took care of the whole believe it problem because believe it or not. <laughs> no, it's on Tsunami. Yeah, on Tsunami it's good. Mm-hmm. I can I can stand it. <clears throat> then they've got Bleach on before that and they're fo- they're getting close to the end of the whole Winter War thing on that. But really, that didn't suffer from horrible editing. <laughs> uh, let's see, what uh, what suffered from horrible editing? Oh, come on. Card Captain Sakura. That too. <laughs> Sailor Moon. I'll, Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon. <laughs> um, Gigantor. <laughs> if it was in the 90s? Horrible editing. If it was on regular public television? Horrible editing. Why? Because everyone was so uptight about a lot of things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, first you got to cut out these, uh, you know, we can't have characters smoking in the <laughs> in a children's look card show. Yeah, let's make it... And look at this. This is the foamiest water. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, in... Uh, Dragon Ball. Dra- in Dragon Ball Z. Master Roshi, one of his first appearances, he's holding a mug of beer. <laughs> they changed it to water. <laughs> so it's a very fizzy water. I wouldn't drink the water. <laughs> uh, in, now, when they, when they broadcast Dragon, Dragon Ball, Ball, there's an understandable Ow. point to this. Because <laughs> it didn't hurt that bad. They, they did it for decency editing, not so much subject yeah. editing. Because Goku in that series, when he was a kid, appeared naked a lot. Mm-hmm. And so the fu- <coughs> some of the funniest stuff was like you you have all these phallicry jokes, and like there, there's there's this one point where Goku had transformed the the big ape and then he transforms back, and like when he's a big ape you don't see anything. Mm-hmm. When he's a kid, <laughs> obviously obviously you see this, but he's laying on the ground. There, there, there happens there, to be this one, one little tiny flower. Th- this little flower. <laughs> Well, it's just like pass on the ground. There's this great meadow of just grass, <laughs> and this is one flower. <laughs> no, my favorite. Covering up the man's shame, and he stands up, and, I'm, and Rex, the, the flower, flower grows. is big enough to go with it now. <laughs> and you're like, huh, no, really? No, my favorite one. My favorite editing was uh, there's one where they uh, try and capture this uh, character. His name's Oolong. He's a pig, but he can shape shift. There's one where he transforms into a fish to tr- and gets into his lake to try and swim away. 
Now, what they figure is like, he's probably greedy. Let's use this stack of money to, you know, as bait. They dip it in the water, they, and he takes the bait. They pull him out. Now, what that stack of bills was supposed to be originally was, uh, first off, he's a pig, so he's perverted. It was supposed to be this girl's underwear. It's like, <laughs> yeah. he's perverted, he, so he'll probably go for this. Put my underwear on a hook, throw it in, and he takes the bait. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, <sighs> belly buttons. Now, did, in, in the U.S., did they ever show the uh, uh, Pokemon episode with the flashing lights that with caused so the many Porygon? seizures? The Porygon? Nope, uh, Porygon that is release. banned no. in most countries. Actually, what they've done now is they've went back and edited that part so the flashes mm. aren't nearly as so, so fast in succession mm -hmm. so it doesn't trigger the seizures anymore. Yeah. Because I watched the original clip. And I understand why it was like, 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 like the kids on a Mac, like, what's that? Ah! And they fall over. And the thing is, you know what spawned after that, epi like after that episode had come up? They had to make another episode to get people back. Like, oh, well, Pokemon's not all evil. Mm -hmm. Pokemon's not bad. If you've ever seen the original series, you see the episode where Pikachu finds this group of Pikachus. <laughs> like this, this little herd, I'm going to call them. Uh, yeah. Okay. And Ash is like, well, I'll let him be with his kind. I'll be fine. And he runs off and he's crying. And then Pikachu hops back into his arms in the most gushy, uh, gushy thing yeah. out there. And it's just, even now, I'm like, <laughs> 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 me, the, the guy I am, just like, you, you can show me some of the most, like, sad, the saddest stuff and give me watching Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> and. Yo, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. just a dog. Uh, yeah. No, um, <laughs> the one thing I had about editing in Pokemon, like they try and cult, you know, localize it is what they call it. Donuts. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> Where Donuts. they take like certain, like okay, it's anime. They have like <coughs> Japanese elements. Mm -hmm. Like they take a rice ball. There was one where Ash had a big rice ball, but they changed it into a sub sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> or they take the rice ball, and instead of calling it a rice ball, they call it a donut. Yeah, you, you That's Brock. the weirdest looking donut I've ever seen. You, you have Brock, okay? okay? The the Asian equivalent of <coughs> this one, the one where... He's, he's like an Asian quagmire. You never see his eyes because he's, you know, they're, they're, yeah. they're always like they're closed. Well, he turns around and he's like, what, lovely donuts. <laughs> 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 and I just sit for a second. They're obviously rice balls. Uh -huh. There's no change in this edit. Just the guy voicing Kaiba from Yu-Gi-Oh is voicing Brock at the time too. Mm -hmm. Screw the rules. I have money. <laughs> and th they'll do this continually in all these shows, so kids are like, "Oh, I didn't identify with that." Um, well, since so it is the holiday special, they had two episodes that were cut out that were pretty much Christmas base. Yeah, yeah. One focusing on a Pokemon called oh, Jinx. Jinx. <laughs> Blonde hair, red dress, and special attacks that usually involve kissing of some sort. But if you look at her, she is her her she black she, is, she is that's she is pretty much what you can see that she, as she has and large. Well, yeah. No. So so she looks <laughs> very very offensive. Okay. And it was it was the Christmas special where they had Santa. And you know, like Jinx was, was like the helper of Santa. They were elves or something. They yeah. were supposed to be like the elves. And yeah. so they cut this from TV because, oh, well, you can't have that. Well, so this is what actually led to the, the editing of Jinx, the, this Pokemon, because it mm -hmm. first started out black. I still have the, the old books where she has the black face. Mm -hmm. um, they had to change it, so now it's a very, very dark blue. Okay. And Wasn't it in the first release of Silver and Gold, she's still kind of... Yeah. Oh yeah. Dark color. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, wasn't until much later on in, in the other games. Then there's other there's other episodes that have band like Beauty and the Beach. Yep. Is that the one um, with uh, uh, Jesse in a bikini? Or? James. 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 And inflatable jubblies. <laughs> <laughs> but they look like they're real. Yeah. He even has a moment where he's like, <laughs> like he like pumps them up a little bit. But we and can boost our ratings. I can do what I like. <laughs> and then there's the Legend of Dratini, where, where it shows. <laughs> The warden of the safari zone. Who takes his job very seriously. Okay, if you ever play Pokemon, there's a safari zone where it's just, uh, you go there, you catch Pokemon, you don't battle them, you have mm -hmm. to try your luck and just catching them flat out. Okay. You know, in the original game, you find escape, Chansey, you're Tauros, and all those, you know, mm -hmm. just these different things. Um, <laughs> the, the, the warden in this episode was a gun-toting, like every five minutes, whoosh, 
<laughs> he, got a point, he points the gun at Ash in the, like, right at his face. Everyone, I'm I, surprised I they didn't try and turn it into a water gun. <laughs> they did that for every other anime. No, not, not all of them, like Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> what, what they do, they gave it the walkie-talkie syndrome, just in reverse. <laughs> Nothing. Huh. Like, uh, there's a point where you have Seto Kaiba sitting there, he's he's getting ready to make his, to leave, and this guy's two agents, like Maximilian Pegasus' agents, come in and try and take him with him. In the original, they've got guns. Mm hmm In the four kids' <laughs> anime, Abomination. Yeah. They, they bust into the room, and they have nothing in their hands, and they're like, come with us! And what, what are you going to do? Just... Point me to death? Kill me with air bullets? Yeah. No, like seriously, like their hands are in the formation of guns. Oh, okay. They're just they're sitting there with the most awkward pose to, <laughs> to demand anything. Just come with us. <laughs> and then Kaiba take proceeds to take like this is the most believable part actually <laughs> in the situation. If they had actual guns, I probably wouldn't have done this. But since they didn't have guns, <laughs> this is where I completely believe this edit and why I kind of accept it a little bit. He takes the office chair and chucks it at their dumb asses and hops out the window. And when it was that, on the 50th floor. Well, well, it was on a cliff side, so yeah. Oh. And so no, and he pulls off some miraculous whatever hootie hoo. <laughs> and um, hootie hoo. And you, you see him from the side view as they're like, "Oh, get him!" And they're like, they, they go to run. They're still holding their hands in this position. Just oh no. <laughs> In, in in the gun toting position, it's just again dumb edits yeah. for for dumb kids. Mm -hmm. I ugh. Ugh. harpies harpies. Oh in god! All oh, the harpy lady sisters. Okay, it. Their it, only covering is that. Yeah, they're. they're they're very voluptuous women. Okay. Well, so they they're kind of like the dominatrix monsters of you. <laughs> yeah. Well, they got a quick card called Rose Whip. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, cyber armor, which got edited too, because cyber armor has spikes for. Uh, but yeah. Yeah. Well, what they had to do for editing in this is they had to fill out the harpy uh, outfit. Okay. The or lack thereof. Because mm -hmm. it would only cover, like, the, just two strips of fabric would cover just the, just the right amount. So you're like, oh. So it's <laughs> not offensive, but yeah. not enough. So offensive. it would cover there. So in the English, it looks like these sports track suits. Or <laughs> okay. like we're, we're, more like a leotard. Yeah. And so it covers up there, which really doesn't kill the illusion at all, in my opinion. And as, he, as he said, they, they had to edit the cyber armor because in the original... <laughs> It would. I, I'll never forget this scene because my Valentine, the most hussy character out there, <laughs> is playing these cards. She's such a hussy. She she stacks her deck. Or not, not, like, that, I she, thought she was a lesbian at one point. Well, what she she <laughs> does is she marked her cards with different perfumes, and she could smell the different type of perfumes. They knew, so she would fake being a fortune teller. How the smells not commingle? That that's apparently she was that good, yeah. or she's been smelling too always, much of her own crap to know the difference. <laughs> that's what so, I always wonder. Because at some point, shouldn't if they're all they would co mingle together. and you'd, yeah. you'd have that. This is Yu-Gi-Oh. They have titanium cards. True. It makes no sense. A, a Yu-Gi-Oh card could stop the primer on a gun. Don't even try me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> can cut someone uh, too. I, I, I will explain in a second. But she equips this card, and it's just great. Just whoo, boom! <laughs> you, you just see the cups and spam, <laughs> and the Japanese boom needles. <laughs> it's the coldest day in Duelist Kingdom. <laughs> but no, to explain the whole titanium card yeah. thing, Kaiba gets a gun pointed to his head. Was it, was now, this is a nine. This is a nine millimeter gun. You can you, you can see it already. And he takes his blue eyes white dragon. Uh -huh. One of only three in existence. Mm -hmm. So uh, in and this he, world, it's the most rarest card. And he flips it up and stops the primer on the gun with this card. Okay. This guy tries to take a shot and boom. Stops it, fights the guy, takes him now, takes his card back. Okay. There's another point where this guy is holding the guys, these people hostage. He's got his hand ready to hit the button and take them out. Mm -hmm. Well, Kaiba takes the blue eyes white dragon card, throws it, sticks in the dude's hand. <laughs> Ah! You know, and he can't push the button now. <coughs> this is the same type of card that in the very first episode, very first, <laughs> there's a fourth Blue Eyes White Dragon. He gets it from, guess who? Yugi's grandfather. Okay. He takes this card, holds it in front of their face, and rips it in half. 
<laughs> so apparently the molecular structure of these cards changes <laughs> episode by episode. Uh, I just don't. <laughs> and then the storylines from then on, because apparently you get one where you duel on bikes now, on motorcycles. And there's I'm a, there's if I like a, that better than GX. <laughs> and there's a police squad that chase after you, but they can't arrest you. you they have to beat you in a duel first. Yeah, it makes no. But sense. if you beat them, apparently you're allowed to go free. So uh, to beat a serial killer and continue to kill, you just gotta be good at cards. Well, you're already too good at killing people. I don't yeah. think that you're too. Really doing. Um, <laughs> no, it. You're taking life points. <laughs> yeah, a lot of them. Now, wasn't there one where like some character was smoking, so they changed the cigarette to? Uh, uh, that was one piece. piece. And Zanji turned into a lo- they turned a into a pop? lollipop that oh. still had the smoking end. Okay. <laughs> Don't even start on the travesty of that was One Piece for kids. Yeah, you know, one of these days we're going to dedicate a segment to censorship, but we, I think we need to get going. Yeah, to people have been listening to us ramble yeah. the entire time. <laughs> I feel very bad. Merry Christmas. Me tell, talking about broken, <laughs> broken fences, broken dreams, and light up Christmas trees. <laughs> <laughs> Censored enemies. Yeah. So. so we're gonna go I'll ahead do, and hit. I'll do the Christmas close out, but you can go ahead. And I'm, I'm just gonna it. say the usual, you know, mm-hmm. like, subscribe. We love you. We've we've had a great time this year, and next next one will be our year in review. Or half year, as ha- you half call year. It. Yeah, half year. We, we've been <laughs> It'll be our, our our half year one year review. <coughs> it was like our thirtieth show anniversary. Yeah. Uh, now is it, now it's our. You know, ha- half year in. I wasn't year. there for that one. Yeah, 30th show verse, or you cop out. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're. I- I'm going to go ahead and pass it on to the ghost <laughs> of Christmas. Pass. All right, I got to re get loaded. Right. I- <laughs> <sighs> you can't get loaded. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go, Dad. Oh, God. That's some lung power. You were from the 60s. So the fanboys for their tales were spent, and out of the room they did go and went. <laughs> but I heard them explain as they went out of view, live long and prosper, and may the forest be with you. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> Way to rhyme! Rotten day, bless us, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> for the lightning cast, Ace. I'm on helium. Damien. <laughs> may the forest be with you. LG. Bomb book. And who else? <laughs> or Me, you man, Mike. Have a good one. Have a happy and safe holiday. If you're not listening on holiday, whatever. Merry Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Have a good one. Crazy good night. Uh... May your fences be whole. <laughs> <laughs>